there we go. You sure you don't want my um, headphones common? Common. 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 Huh? Oh, you've got them. Never mind. Get the headphones on. Hello, welcome, greetings, hi, um, I'll give it, I'll give everyone a chance to get in first. So uh, yeah, today is not going to be the typical stream, I don't, I don't usually stream at all, I usually just do work and upload it and you know, uh, something happened today on, on Twitter, I saw a tweet from, um, from Shadversity, Shadversity, about AI art. Um, and well, it didn't, it didn't exactly go down well. It went south pretty quickly and everyone sort of clowned on him. Uh, but he's uploaded a video explaining his perspective. Now, uh, I have my opinions on AI art, uh, which we'll, we'll get into. Um, but we're going to watch the video that he uploaded and actually respond to it properly. I think everyone has the right to accurately make their case before they get clowned on um so we're, we're, we're gonna delve in um so full disclosure i i do watch this guy's content from time to time because i i i, I like history i like uh you know swords and stuff it is fun uh and his content is a great source of, of entertainment for that reason uh i don't know much about his other stuff i know he has multiple channels uh and he apparently has some really shit takes on um, AI. Normally, I wouldn't do this. I don't really go in for drama, and uh, this this isn't for drama, by the way. It's just because uh, I take this, I you know, I take it seriously, and I thought I'd, I'd I'd give it a fair shake and 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 see what the video is about and respond to it, and 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 you know, we could we can go through it together. Um, I will say this: uh, none of us know this guy. You know, we don't know him. So this is not a license to go and harass anyone. Uh, all right. We're just responding to the argument. We're going to go about this mechanically, intelligently. Right. Um, so if we can all agree to just fucking focus on the arguments. Yeah. Because uh, I feel like a lot of these discussions they get. They vanish up their own ass because they're too busy trying to pick holes in the person and the quality of their character and not the quality of their actual argument. So if we can just make a fucking peace pact right now not to uh, go and bother this guy because, uh, you know, we don't know him, right? He's, he's a stranger. Let's just focus on the, on, the, on, the, on the topic at hand, shall we? I, think that's, I don't think that's unreasonable. So... Um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and minimize my face. Um, I'm, I'm going to be up here. And this is the video. A love letter to um, the... Yeah, a love letter to AI. You don't need to be afraid. So, obviously, we're in for a fucking blast here. So, strap in, because we're, we're, we're going in. We're going in hot. And we're going we're gonna to look at the arguments. We're going to see... Uh, what the score is and uh yeah all right can you all hear me and i'm just going to do a quick audio test um can you can you guys art is very important to me ever since i was a very young is that fine can you guys hear that sounds like shit on my end Carmen, you use these every day what about this one young child my fuck i guess that's just how it sounds all right all right okay are we all satisfied with this? All right? This isn't the typical thing I do. I'm not here to cause shit. All right? I just wanna... I'm fucking sick to death of this conversation surrounding AI. I think it's... I think it's moronic. Um, I'm, I'm open to getting my mind changed. The only people who never change their minds on anything are stupid people. So, this is a 30 set, 38 minute video. And we're all gonna go in together. And we're going to see what this guy has to say. And we're going to think mechanically, you know, dispassionately, 
we're going to keep emotions out of it and we're just going to focus on the topic at hand all right so uh, let, let, let's begin i'll be responding as i go um so art is very important to me ever since i was a very young child my imagination would run wild creating characters and stories and worlds Same. and art has always been a profoundly important part of me bringing those worlds into greater reality it started off with drawing and that's a passion i still have to this day creating new characters and depicting the worlds and stories i love to immerse myself in it was a great revelation to me later on in life. It wasn't actually the physical, mechanical movement of drawing that I was actually enjoying, but it was the creation of something. It was some. Re I can relate to that. I think I think everyone ha has a certain frustration with the uh, with the bottleneck that comes with actually making something. Um, probably not to the degree that the, the degree that this guy does. I think artists generally like the process because you know that's why they're artists. Um, you know, but I can I can I can sympathise with 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 that. Was, you know, sometimes it is a a lot of work, I, I guess. Relaxation found in the methodical kind of movements of scraping a pencil along paper, but the true artistic satisfaction was in what I was creating. Otherwise, why wasn't I just drawing straight lines? Can line? we? Can, I mean, this isn't this isn't too bad either. Like this art's pretty good. Like I um I like I think the line works the line works decent. You know. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, uh. I think these are alright. Depends on a single piece of paper forever. But I do understand that there are some people that fall in love with certain. The, the digital ones aren't as good. Certain mediums. But I still feel the greatest satisfaction comes from this process of creation. And then I discovered a new medium where I could depict. Fuck, I can relate to that so much though. In school, you'd make the most fucking amazing drawing and then you'd have to colour it in. And it, it, you know, you just be like smearing shit across the page, and you just watch as all the effort, all the little motifs that you worked on vanish. Yeah, I mean, these worlds and characters to even greater reality, writing. And since then, I've become a published author, and writing is one of the great passions of my life. Likewise, I can relate to this. I mean, oh, hang on, published author as well. Fully illustrated without AI, by the way, by me and my wife. Um, but yeah, I've actually I've actually read his book. I won't go into detail, but um, yeah, you the guy obviously gives a shit about the creative field, um, as we've seen so far. I'm curious to see where this goes because you wouldn't think that this is an, an a video in support of AI, and yet it is. As still is drawing and art. My artistic pursuits have just broadened. I love to explore different mediums and tools that help bring my artistic broadened. I love to explore different me. I mean, that's good. Would can we agree that the art on screen, the line art, the like this is is pretty fucking good? Can we at least agree that you know this guy does have an understanding of of art? Because he, he can he can draw, you know, it may not be to your taste. The, the, there may be room for improvement, but he can definitely fucking draw a picture, you know. Um, I'm just confused as to where the AI thing is going to come in. Because this looks like the start of a very promising career. This is something that you, that you build on and develop and get better at. And, you know, I think there's really something in this mediums and tools that help bring my I think some are better than others obviously I think I think the ones with digital color look a bit naff but artistic visions into greater reality in different ways and I've always appreciated tools that help me achieve certain things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise I love the look of inked art on top of my pencil drawing yeah, there's definitely a theme here with the... making the lines more bold and it to stand out and pop from the page yet it was also a very stressful experience because there was also a greater chance of smudges and i even had other images ruined when small bits of water just droplets fell on the page making the ink bleed so I'm fucking sweating and trying to finish it without fucking it up and... when having access to a scanner and being able to scan my hand-drawn images onto a computer where I could digitally ink my images, solved all the issues and problems I was having with hand ink. This is fine. Again, um, the problem that people have with AI isn't isn't this. Like, I can already fuck. I can see where this is going. You're going to argue that because um, digital art provides certain shortcuts and 
uh, methods to overcome mechanical obstacles in art. Therefore, the logical end of the spectrum is AI is okay too. Or we can go the other way. The pencil is not part of the human anatomy. It is a tool designed to solve a certain problem that facilitates art. Um, so if, if, you, if your goal is to take it to its absolute logical conclusion and say, well, this tool's okay, therefore this tool's okay, therefore, fine, you can do that. But I think everyone agrees that there's a fucking line in the sand. And, and that line is generally when it comes down to human input. Again, I'll be interested to see how much input goes into these AI creations. My guess is not much. Um, and my definition of input, by the way, is fucking drawing it or modeling it or actually having a hands on. When I make my characters in, in 3D, I start with a fucking cube, you know, and I have to sculpt that out into a shape and eyeball the anatomy and use references it takes fucking hours carmen does the same she's 2d as i said we, we illustrated this book together um it's a lot of work very rewarding as well um so <clears throat> well let's let's see thinking it enabled me to do it more precisely faster with the ability to erase mistakes and also make later edits it was a phenomenal tool that helped bring my art to the next level and I never had considered it cheating or that I was losing some type of artistic pursuit in not wanting to pursue physical hand inked art. This is the exact same experience I had with colouring. I never particularly enjoyed working with physical mediums, painting, pencils, pastels, the same stresses That's existed fine. for mistakes, yep. but that wasn't to say I never did it or that I couldn't find- And I think that looks pretty good too. I think this guy just struggles with digital stuff because his stuff on paper looks pretty good. And great satisfaction in making a hand-coloured piece of art. But discovering digital colouring... You see, that looks like shite. Um, the one on the far left looks, looks, looks nice. And then it is obliterated, in my opinion. What are you... I mean... I don't know. It just doesn't look good. The the it, it looks like you've taken a um, a tile texture of something of some pattern and you've just mapped it on like something out of fucking chowder. It it, it doesn't look good. Um, it's it's something. It's a, but it's a skill you can you can build on. You know. Um, let me move my face cam here. I'll go down here. That's better. There we go. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think... I th Yeah, I just don't think it looks very good. I, I think... It's funny, isn't it, that the human element to this art looks really fucking nice, and as soon as you... you inch into the world of convenience and corner cutting, it looks like shite. Uh, and digital art doesn't have to be corner cutting. Uh, in many ways, it has you know a, a whole bunch of new challenges that you have to overcome. This is definitely the st this this is a beginner piece from a digital artist. Clearly, you know it's a whole new set of skills, and and he may not uh, have had the patience to continue to develop this skill, thus leading to AI. We will see. Fixed all the problems that I was finding with hand coloring myself, and enabled me to produce much much higher quality. Just very quickly, what the fuck is going on with this guy? What is it? Art than I was able to do without it. Technology enabled me to produce much higher quality art. Oh, looks a bit weird to me. Artworks, cutting out much of the tedious processes, and enabled me to express my artistic vision faster, easier, to a higher level of quality. Ah, here we go. Faster, easier, higher level of quality. Now we're getting some key words. The lure of convenience is a slippery slope. So as you can imagine, any technology that grants this same benefit, I am very, very interested in. Hence my interest in AI art generators. Many people view this new technology as something that robs people of their artistic pursuit and potential. It absolutely fucking does. Um, and I will explain why later.
but we're going to give this guy his chance to talk. What I see is the exact opposite. Indeed, far from robbing artistic expression. Right, fuck me. Here we go. Yeah, can anyone identify the problem here? Hmm? Can anyone... Carmen. I, I checked, I glanced stuff at your stream just to see what was going on. Now listen, on. I don't want to fucking rag on, on anyone here. But that one... It the glasses. Oh, it was the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I went. I don't need glasses. They're, they're for... They're like prop glasses. I, um, I thought they were jades. No, they're not jades. They're, um, I, they're for, they're for, like, blue light to, ha like, in, you know, so yeah, your, your eyes don't get hurt. But yeah, uh, look at the fucking state of this. Um... Where the fuck to begin? One of them, at the very least, I, I think both of them have their issues. I think the one on the left definitely has some personality and soul. The one on the right is... Um, it's the realistic rendering with the unrealistic... It's just got a... It's got a fucking human face, like, from a photograph at some obscure birthday party. And it's been cat in the hat fucking glued onto the body of a semi-realistic girl with a cartoon sword. For fuck's sake. It's self-explanatory. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to say that AI produces shit results every time. Of course it fucking doesn't. It'll only get better. But Jesus Christ, can we fucking admit the obvious here and say that one is clearly superior to the other and it's not the one that looks like a fucking hernia with a dress? When you approach it with intent, having a specific vision in your mind that you want to achieve, it can enable you to bring that vision into a level of reality deep. Fucking hell. Okay, right. I get the reality angle. I have a similar thing. I like my things to look real. But there is also a word called style, right? Um, this, this topic is brought up in video games a lot. Graphics don't mean shit if there's no style or, or substance to the art. What fucking style is that? What, what, what signature? If you looked at that and you went, oh yes, that's a classic piece by... It... No, it, it, it's, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck, I forgot I had the Super Chats turned on. A copperhead just sent me $100 saying, AI art is not art, it is theft of other others' pre-existing art pieces found across the internet that gets uh, amalgamated together. We'll get into that. Um, we'll definitely get into that topic. Detail and beauty than you might ever have been able to... Uh, beauty is definitely fucking disputable in this case. ...do without it. But when you combine other artistic... That's better. Well, that's a better result. I mean, just objectively speaking, that's a better result. It still lacks soul to me. I, I much prefer the cross-hatching and the black and white image a thousand times over. I would pay money for the one on the left, um, not the one on the right. You can just, I don't know. Again, we're, we're getting off topic. We're not talking about the... Um, quality of AI, because let's just admit that AI can do some pretty amazing shit, but this is a much better example. If I was this guy, if I was Shad, I wouldn't have used that other example. I would have just cut that from the video. Talents and abilities that you cultivate in other mediums, that enables you to make the very best art. Well, that's a filter at best. I'll give Shad credit. He's at least made the castle, and all AI has done is Google Earth some details in. Why? Just just finish it yourself. It's not that hard. Learn the fucking skill. Why? Why have why have something else bridge the gap? Just learn something. It's called self development, and it's really important. Um, and it's underrated. Well, again, we'll get into that. Oh, uh, Doctor Y sent ten dollars. His brother Jazza. Is Jazza? I don't know who that is. Why doesn't he just he ask his? Art tutorials. Oh. Whenever I was initially learning Flash and 
stuff like that. I would watch some of his stuff, but apparently he has a lot of the same takes as his brother from what I had read. Oh, I don't know who his brother is, but, um, you know, obviously art runs in the family. I just think it's disappointing and kind of sad because um, I think there's, you know, it's, it's especially disappointing when you have somebody who does have a clear knack for art just giving up and going into a, a career of fucking coding instead. Right. With this technology. And I'm not kidding in this. I am an artist. I believe you. I think you are an artist. Yes, I think you're a pretty good artist too. I think everyone in the stream agrees you're a good artist. What the fuck, what the fuck happened, man? Why? What is this? Yes. I've developed a very keen eye for proportion and detail, and I have applied that in every artistic pursuit in whatever medium I'm using. There are many people who use AI art who have seen my images that I've made with this technology and have literally asked, how on earth do I okay. produce these results? They see a difference in the quality that I'm able to achieve versus the quality that they have been able to achieve. And the answer is, I'm applying... Yeah, have you noticed that all of those look to the fucking same? Again, there's no signature. There's no... There's no DNA. Um, I don't look at it and think, Jesus, that, that's got, like, a lot of personality. If you go on these AI sites, and we all have, we've all, you know, when it all started, we all tried it, and scrolling through, it's all the same shit. Um, some fucking car woman. Every single talent I have developed in multiple mediums in my pursuit and love of art to this medium as well. AI art generators are not a replacement of artists. In actual fact, it can be one of the most. I think um, Disney and Marvel would fucking disagree with you there, mate. I think I think um, in many cases they have actually replaced artists. They actually did like um, Marvel. They did a cover for Loki. Loki, yeah. The yeah, the the, the intro the intro for um, Secret Invasion was AI. So what, was someone saying that it's not taking jobs or what? He was just saying that it's not going to replace artists. Uh, when it, are some people that I work it, it with. It already has in some cases. People that I work with have lost some of their roles as like storyboard artists and like concept designers to AI. Yeah, well, like they got fired. For those of you who didn't hear it, some of the people that Carmen knows and works with have lost their jobs because AI is more convenient. Will it? Will it? Will it destroy and replace art? No, you can't. There will always be people who actually want to put the fucking effort in. You will never crush the uh, the spirit of art, I suppose. But you will do damage to it, certainly. And if you're trying to say that damage hasn't been done to the artistic community and morale, you're you're just wrong. You are incorrect factually. It, you're you're unless you're going to try and say that people haven't lost their jobs or opportunities because of this. They have. Don't lie. Now I'm not accusing this guy of lying. He may not know, but it's true found and incredible tools for artists, artists will simply be able to make the very best AI art. But when that is done, it's actually not AI art. The AI art generator is not doing all the work, far, far from it. When I make my AI art, I am in full control with a specific vision in my mind that I'm working towards. And as a result, this isn't made by just the AI, it's made by me using Yes, and do you see the pictures on the left? That's a that's a good start. Do you see the pictures on the right? You could have learned to draw all those things yourself. Wouldn't that have made you feel a bit better? You know? Wouldn't you be more proud of yourself if you knew that every stitch and little detail was fretted over? with the result in mind instead of just having it handed to you on a fucking on a silk pillow or a velvet pillow depending on your 
the tool of AI to achieve the specific vision that I have in my mind. This is AI assisted art, just like photo. Yeah, just see what it does though. Look at the one on the left and then the one on the right. The, f the face is, has just been replaced. Um, it, it's not even recognizable as your art anymore. Don't you fucking see that? Your 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 signature is is being eroded, because it's just taking some fucking anime referenced head and slapping it on. Where's your personality? Photoshop is digitally assisted art. Although it includes many AI processes that enable- Digitally assisted art, yes, but people still have to physically fucking paint the image. Do you know how digital art works? It's still a pen. When I use Blender, I'm still sculpting things. I'm just using a mouse. It's like clay. That's how it works. You actually have to physically do the thing, yeah? You have to make the shape and, and use your knowledge of anatomy and structure and design to do that yourself. You don't tell something to do it for you. Do you see the distinction? And it, there is a distinction. We'll go into a bit more detail later. Those people to cut corners, make shortcuts, achieve goals much easier and quicker that many people don't want to acknowledge that they are using in their own digital art, but criticizing the exact same type of use and methodology. It's not the same fucking methodology. It's a completely different method. Operative word in methodology. The method behind digital art generally is uh, doing the thing. I think I think doing the thing counts, right? It doesn't matter if you're using a pencil, a pen, a, a stylus pen, a mouse, a keyboard. You are fucking doing the thing. The, the tools are being literally wielded by you to create something piece by piece, carefully. Y you are creating it. With AI, you are typing in a request. You are you are asking for something. You are not creating it. You are asking for something. Um. In fairness, too many amateur scribbling like five olds went about into the ground. Might as well replace Adventure Time animators with AI. Well, that is actually present in AI art generation. Therefore, to prove that great amounts of artistry can absolutely be applied to AI art. Okay, remember that. Great amounts of artistry. I'm going to write that down. Great amounts of artistry. Because I assume that's what we're going to learn about in this video. Great amounts of artistry. Yeah. We happy with that? great amounts of art to achieve far greater results than what people are able to achieve without artistic talent and technical knowledge in the program itself i'm going to take you through step by step yes of course somebody who knows the program is going to get better results yes the entire process of the creation of one of my ai assisted art pieces i'm here for it let's go explaining every single step wow also to help other people improve their art and the sun is behind her and yet is projecting onto the front of her. Um, brilliant, yes. Unless that's her fucking hair catching the light. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking, of course. Uh, it's, it's obviously a very impressive result. Let's not fucking kid ourselves. Um, you could have drawn it, you know? You could have made that yourself, but, um, you know, uh, instant gratification works too. An ability to work with this new technology. So to demonstrate this process, we are going to be making an image of one of my favorite fictional characters, Supergirl. I had a big crush on Supergirl growing up and have a lot of nostalgic connection for this character. I know nothing about Supergirl. Maybe we'll learn something here. And what I love to do is to depict my wife. Didn't, didn't, didn't Superman's planet get fucking destroyed? How is, how is she alive? I don't know. Wasn't he like the last Kryptonian? I don't know. Life as Supergirl, because that's who she is. She is my Supergirl. 
She's the most beautiful as Supergirl because of for this character. And what I love to do is to depict my wife as Supergirl because that's who she is. She is my Supergirl. Well, that's very nice. I don't think anyone here in this chat will have a fucking problem with a guy depicting his wife in a flattering way. When I look at Carmen, my wife over there, I I see I see many things, you know. I hope it's not that though. Supergirl? I think you're more I think you're more um What 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 vibe do you have? When I look at Carmen Kim Wexler from Better Call Saul. Carmen has Kim Wexler vibes. That checks out. And I'll take, you know, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone said you're Batman. That is closer. <laughs> She's the most beautiful creature in the world to me. And so I love making art of my wife. She is my muse. And I particularly love depicting her in the way that I see her. People don't see what I see when I look at my wife. When I look at my wife, I see the most beautiful creature in the world. I see my Supergirl. Okay, well that's very nice. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, you're laying it on a bit thick, but you, yeah, I, I don't think anyone has a, has an issue with, 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 with that. Um, most people will never have the talent to make anything that looks that nice. Artists are mostly upset that they can't keep up the grift. Yeah, artists will tend will have a problem when they work really hard on something and lose money and income because other people want to um, pay to win. I'm sure if you were playing a video game and you were working really hard to get good at the game and some fucking cunt came in with the best rocket launcher that he bought from the fucking store and blew your fucking head off with it, I'm pretty sure you'd quit the game and be a bit pissed. Oh, what's the man? I can't keep up the grift. Yeah, no shit. This is people. This is their livelihood. People live off this stuff, and if they don't, they starve. And uh, yeah, I think I think I don't like. I I'm not a fan of this idea that because people are upset, they're wrong. Like sometimes people have a right to take issue with something. It's now you know it's obviously more complicated than that, but. Maybe I'm a bit old fashioned, but I think you should have to fucking work for things in life. I don't I don't believe in being given things. I think that you know I think that leads to narcissism. That's what I think it leads to. If you don't if you don't know what it's like to fuck up and lose and be shit at something, you won't appreciate it when you're finally good at it. So, yeah. Put in the work. The first step is to choose the AI image generator. There are multiple ones out there, but I use the local installation of Stable Diffusion in the automatic 1111 interface. The reason why Stable Diffusion is the best is that it enables you to use multiple extensions and add-ons, giving you far more freedom and control, enabling you to achieve the artistic vision you have in your mind. It goes far beyond just trying to describe what you want in a prompt, because the very nature of AI art generators are infinite, and you don't want infinite outputs, you want a specific result. And as soon as you are working towards a specific result, it is quite impossible to get that out of a prompt and a click. It's Ferner spends hours working on models and animation with digital tools, AI bros. Guys, it's just like Photoshop or Blender or something. Yeah, I, I think the distinction is very obviously... Uh, the artist's input, right? Well, I think AI, you're just pressing a like you're not, you're not, a prompt and then you pretty much refresh yeah. until you get something similar, and then you go off of that. I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, to we'll, 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 we'll address it as it as it comes up, but yeah, I think fundamentally the distinction is the involvement of the artist. And for me, if you're not getting your hands on it. And you're and you're not actually creating what what the image is, um, you're you're not an artist. You're a commissioner. You're you're asking for something and you're being given it, and maybe then you can refine it and ask it for more things. Can you please make the tits bigger? Can you please make the hair? Can you please fix this? And it'll do it for you. Um. Yeah. 
I spent hundreds of dollars on Warhammer, painted for years, and have never come close to being happy with my work. I will never be better than I am. Um, There's plenty of tutorials. Yeah, I, I have some. Take heart, my friend. Uh, tr believe me, you can. Fucking believe me, you can. Don't take shortcuts. Yeah. That'll just stifle yourself even more. If 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 you get some artificial thing to subsidize your talent you will you will never grow you know i've got a good analogy for this but i think i'll wait for the end i don't like prematurely responding i feel like i've done enough of that already let's just see what this what this process comes down to going to take far more processes to achieve what you want and to make a flawless final image there are many tutorials in how to install stable diffusion and once it's installed, it actually runs through your web browser. You're not going to a separate website, it's literally running locally on your computer. People assume that once you have Stable Diffusion installed, all you need to do is copy someone else's prompt and start spitting out incredible results. This is very far from the truth. Stable Diffusion comes with a base model, which is a set of training parameters that kind of encompasses the brain of the image generator. There are hundreds going on thousands of different AI image generating models made by the community. At right. I wonder if anyone in the class can identify the problem. Can anyone see the issue at hand here? Because I fucking can. Large and experimenting and finding the best models to achieve the vision that you want is actually a very important part of this process. I've worked with many, many different models, finding out their strengths and weaknesses, and as a result, I know which model will better help serve me in what I want to achieve. And to- Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I mean, has anything ever made you feel more fucking depressed? Look at this. Look at this shite. And remember, I'm not calling it shite because it looks necessarily bad. It's just the sheer lack of human effort on display here is actually uh, depressing to me. Just any excuse not to pursue self-improvement of any kind. Any excuse to get away with working and developing yourself in a meaningful way just get the job done make it perfect look at the size of her tits i would love to see the prompt for that can you imagine the prompt massive tits brackets massive tits close brackets 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 i fucking look at the fuck to reach the quality that I'm able to achieve, I actually do something that not everyone does with these AI image generators. Okay. I use multiple models for the same image, Ooh. which I will demonstrate a Sounds little later. Advanced. And so to achieve this end result, I've needed to train a model based on my wife's face. Have you not considered just dressing your wife up in a dress and taking a picture of her in front of a castle? Because um, you're just... You, these are photographs. You can have photographs, sure. But um, I think one of the things about art that a lot of people really like is embellishment and exaggeration i think if you look at the principles of animation you'll learn that pretty quickly uh i design a lot of characters that like i said there are over 80 um full color illustrations in this book that were done by me and my wife um and obviously you're not going to get a very photorealistic result. You don't want a photorealistic result. Um, you want to bend reality and exaggerate things and create something that is provocative and, and powerful. That's why some of the best artists are considered the best artists. You know? Um, they know how things work. Vincent van Gogh didn't take a... He didn't produce a, photo, a photograph of the night sky. He created his how he saw the night sky um it, it, it's not just a, a one for one
coffee. I, I, again, there's a novelty to it, though, isn't there? Like, you can think of something in your brain. Um, he's using his wife as a canvas and abusing her. Uh, no, I, I think she's happy to... I mean, she's his wife. I'm pretty sure she volunteered for this. Um, I mean, it, fuck. No, let's not be unreasonable. Don't speculate on other people's relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, you don't know them. Yeah, let, let's 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 let remember mechanical here. We're gonna be we're gonna be me mechanical thinkers. Um. Thanks. This has been a long and difficult process with many many failed attempts. The final face models that I have of my wife are the result of hundreds of hours of work, and the process to achieve that is a video in and of itself. At the moment, I have three very high quality, workable, usable face models. Colin, do you mind if I just take 500 photographs of your face in excessive detail? No reason. Yeah, sure. <laughs> to my wife, that can each achieve a different type of artistic output. And I often use all three of them in conjunction to achieve the very best results. First, you need to refine the prompt and... Uh, it's like someone taking a bunch of ingredients, assembling a dish that's both delicious and beautiful, as opposed to throwing it all in a blender and technically having the same nutrition. That's a very good way of putting it. Yes, that that is a that, that is a good way of putting it. Um, you you are getting the objective result. You're getting the same thing into your body, um, but it, it hasn't been fretted over and meticulously thought of um, by a person. Again. I'm really interested to see the process. Finding the prompt that works best is a process that can take thousands of different tries. Just copying it. Thousands of different tries. We're going to write that down as well. That will be important. I'm keeping my responses vague for now because, um, you know, we want to hear the argument. Um, I mean, I'm interjecting a bit here and there with little things, but... Generally speaking, we're gonna we're gonna wait. Base prompt that you find online does not grant you the knowledge of what individual words are doing what to achieve the results, because tweaking the prompt is an important part in guiding the AI to get the results that you want. So knowing how to weight certain prompts, the order of the prompt, the types of keywords are all very, very crucial. Experienced people with these programs Don't know again. how to tweak Fuck. the prompt as they generate images, guiding it by altering Why the prompt to get that? the results you Stop. want. But this is still only the first part of the process. There is still much, much more required, as well as additional things that can drastically affect and change the results, which are called LORAs. LORAs are like additions to Lego, essentially. Um... Spectre Von Baron, I have to say I really do respect you for wanting to uh, save your full response till the end in order to be fair and objective. Yeah, I think a lot of people get carried away in things like this and they stop attacking people personally. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't like the idea of, of doing that. I think uh, it's, it's very easy to um, reduce somebody you disagree with to a cartoon that you can then abuse and uh, we should be mindful not to do that to anyone because fundamentally we don't know them do we uh, we know what th people say about them but we don't know who they are we've never met them so you know I i'm just trying to focus on the on what's on the fucking screen um i will be responding in detail but this fucking hell it, it compels me to stop Two models that can be applied to any model that have been trained to push the results in a certain direction. Fuck. And most people who first try stable diffusion have no idea what they are or that there are even different models to use or the importance of keywords, order, waiting, in prompts. And figuring out all of this is actually technical knowledge, skill in using this technology. Even when the technology improves with Skill updates you need to learn how to use those updates what is it doing oftentimes new extensions need to actually be looked for found added to stable diffusion and you then need to learn how to use them 
Getting better at using these tools and taking advantage of how this technology this gets better. This is not the win you think is it is. a crucial part in making the best. Every second that is on the screen, this technology. you're losing votes. So the prompt that we're okay. using here is raw photo, full body image of a beautiful sci-fi supergirl flying in the sky and wearing a long red pleated skirt and red cape and red boots. Starting with a full descriptive line of the image gives far more weight and guidance to the prompt. This doesn't work with all models though. You have to know the best prompts that work with different models. Then I have the line trigger word that generates my wife's face. This trigger word will literally achieve nothing in models that are not trained off of my wife's face. And so for the majority of these first generations, this is doing nothing. Then I start with guiding keywords. These are all very important guiding words of elements that I want in the prompt, and some might confuse you a little, like armor and sci-fi armor, metal top. Yes, yeah, very confusing. What the fuck does that mean? The type of Supergirl image I want is one that has a more sci-fi looking Supergirl outfit. No way, that's what it means? A sci-fi top means a sci-fi top? Fuck. With detailed gold accents on the top and belt and boots, and these keywords the exact type of thing that will heavily influence the output and I've only figured out that they work this way through experimentation. My next prompts are now focused on the actual imagery, the artistic style. There are a couple of repeats there that adds additional weight, and some prompts I did learn just work well from other people who work with these programs, like DSLR. The last part of the prompt, I have two Laura's working. One is a- Okay, so you're, you're negotiating with the AI to get the best result, the, the, the process is time consuming, I get that. Um, you could even argue, if you wanted to, that it's its own skill in coding and I suppose negotiation to wrangle something like, something like this must take a certain degree of, of, of knowledge. Um, it takes skill to make the program, but I don't think that it takes skill to my, 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 my question is, is, is this, is it skill? Maybe. Maybe it is it, it is a certain degree of, of skill in wrangling any software. Um, I know my my auntie Ali is fucking really good at Microsoft Excel. Uh, I would say you know using that is a skill. You 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 get good at it. It's like it's like an instrument or a tool. Is it artistic skill? This is the question. This is the thing. Is it artistic skill? No, it fucking isn't. It is not artistic skill. And I think it's important here to distinguish creativity from art. A lot of people are creative. A lot of people walk around with these amazing images in their heads. Um, but the ones with the talent to manifest those images, we call them artists. Um, that's, that, that's the name for them. So I'm not saying Shad isn't creative. I'm just questioning his definition of artistic skill. There's a lot of patience involved here, but I could smear my shit on the walls of Buckingham Palace. Time consuming, yes. Skillful, artistic, uh, I would say no, no, not really. There, there is a fucking distinction. Um, you are not being artistic uh, through this method. You are asking for something. Uh, let's change the name of the AI to Alan. Um, so Shad is going to Alan with a list of demands using carefully selected and calibrated words to get Alan to draw this picture for him. Um, it sounds like a commission. You go to an artist, you give them details, your creative vision. And remember, you don't need to be an artist to be creative. And the artist, Alan, does the job for you. But Alan is the artist. The AI is the artist. Um, but an AI doesn't care if you take credit. That's the difference. That's why Shad is so comfortable to take it instead. Because there's no conscious entity to say otherwise. Well, that's my picture because it was a robot. So by default, it goes to me. It's like that copyright issue with the monkey that took a picture of itself. It, 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 it's like fucking by some by virtue of the AI not being an actual person therefore you take credit for everything that it did um, the main reason 
artists are so angry is because they believed they were actually different, that they were special, everyone is replaceable. Um, I, I, I don't think that's a very good opinion to have. I think that's, uh, that's a bit silly. I'll explain why. You, your, your argument basically is saying, from what I'm reading, that you're glad that artists have discovered that they are replaceable. You're happy about this. What you're saying might be true. Maybe artists are replaceable. Maybe that is the case. Why does that make you happy? Why are you so happy about that? Why are you glad and reveling in the fact that people who worked hard to create something, to learn a skill, to make their lives and other people's lives better are being fucked. That's that's the point of contention here. What you're saying might be true. Why does that bring a smile to your face? Ask yourself that instead. Um, yeah. The noise offset, which makes better lighting, and the other is a LoRa that adds mecha type technology details. Both these LoRas are available on Civitia, and the mecha one is particularly awesome when pushed to a further degree, can get some really cool sci fi results. But I'm using it here just to weight the generation towards a more sci fi looking outfit, specifically in the metal axis. the $5, by the way. Um... I'll put that to good use. ...details of the image. So this is the way that I prompt, and the specific order of the different categories of... Yeah, we'll get back to this idea as well. Just because you can do something, it, it doesn't mean you should. Yeah, I think... Can, can we all just agree on that? Just because something is technically possible, it doesn't mean that doing it will, will, will lead to any form of... of of happiness for the uh, the species. Prompts affects the output, and it actually results in an AI generated artistic style. My AI generated images have a particular look to them, and it's the result. No, they fucking don't. Moving on. Result of the way that no, I they don't. No, they don't have a unique look to them. Stop. No, they have your wife's face on them and your face on them. And other than that, they look like sort of photographs, plasticky photographs. They don't look. Stop. Stop. I prompt, and I prompt this you're, way you're because you're lying to yourself. Because it gives me the results that I want. This is not random. This has been achieved through trial and error. Oh, it's not random. Okay. It's not. God. Experimentation. And yes, someone can just copy and paste this, but they're still not going to get the same results as me because next is my process. And the next stage in that process is choosing a specific model to generate the first image that is going to be the foundation of the final image. But you might be shocked at how different this first image is compared to how it will look to the final result. Will After we really? Anyone taking bets? I reckon it's going to look... Um... I think it is going to look different, but I think it's going to, in terms of the subject, it's going to be the same. Experimenting with multiple different models, I do have to say, Rev Animated is one of the very, very best in terms of creative design. Yes. Find detail. Creative design, yes. Creative design. Hear that, guys? Creative design. What the fuck are you designing? Do you know what words mean? You wrote a book. No, I mean... I'm being a bit mean here. Don't say that. It's not true. Creative design evokes thoughts of uh, creativity, you know, uh, effort, uh, talent, consideration, not, not a button press in clothing, lighting, composition, Rev Animated is incredible. But if you're only going to be used Rev Animated, you're going to be limited by this model's limitations. It is not a realism model. It is made to make animated looking images. So we are going to be using the strengths of Rev Animated. See what's happening here though? He's actually doing, like he's, he's importing, th I want that. 
throw that in the blender. I'll have that as well. That's a good uh, art style. I'll take that and I'll fucking mix that in. I I've never seen anyone miss the point of art so painfully. Don't you understand that the design is the point? Buying them from an asset store subverts the process we call art. You're, you are downloading your style. Fuck. It's like Black Mirror. Oh, he's generating something now. So. And with the strengths of other models to achieve what we want. Whoa! So I start generating a couple Fuck. of images. Whoa. And yes, some look good, but they don't Did you see that? How quickly he drew that? Fucking hell, what an artist, man. All these words, they made that. He made that, guys. All that, all that, all that. He knew that would happen. Yeah, all those laser beams. Have what I'm after. Oh, he's, he's, he's rolling the dice again. And then I generated this image. Right. And at first, I was ready to move on. But I... I bet you a pound to a pinch of shit that this will look more or less the same as, as the closing thing. It will probably just have his wife's face on it. Um, if it doesn't already. Unless he's going for a more cartoonish style. Fair play. Uh, but yeah, there it is. He pressed a button. Paused because there was something that I saw in this image that I had to go back to. And this is where applying artistic talent is really important. You might not see what I see in this image, but I see potential. I remember, guys. You might not see what he sees. You fucking peasants. Um, but he, you know, that's, that's, that's the distinction here. He's applying his artistic eye. Can I just remind everyone that creativity does not make you an artist you can be creative and talentless at the same time a lot of people have creative ideas they don't always have the means to see them through that is unfortunate and i think that is why ai is so popular it does provide liberation to these people however what is the price we pay for that mediocrity that's that's the price we pay it, it sucks yes it's a harsh world you have winners and losers but the people who can't be fucking bothered to develop their artistic skill and all you need is a pen and a pen and paper right that's all you need so i don't want to hear any fucking excuses if everyone in the world can afford the new iphone you can afford a pen and paper stop making excuses there is no reason um for this i've seen people with no arms produce art better than this stop Anyway, beautiful artistic vision. For I, I love the way the cape clips into the building. Brilliant pose and composition here. It's There's not a Superman flying. Actually there, but I see the potential for it. This is hugely important and it defines such a massive difference in someone who is able to apply an artistic eye to this process versus someone who doesn't have the experience or ability to do so. I, and they're just no one is disputing that you, whether or not you have an artistic eye. You may, you may very well have an artistic eye. Again, a lot of people do. That doesn't make you a fucking artist. And for the record, Chad, I think you are, you, I mean, you are an artist. Why are you doing this? Fucking draw it! is limited with the images that they're able to generate. And so with this image, I now have a vision of what I can achieve with but it. But you didn't compose this. Don't you see that? You didn't compose this. You didn't. You didn't draw the hair. You didn't make it look like that. You didn't do the lighting. You didn't do the dress. You didn't do the face. You didn't do the cape. You didn't do the background. You, you didn't do the anatomy. You didn't do the fucking shading. You didn't do this. You, you did not create this. You asked for it and it was given to you. You may perfect it. You may fiddle with it and get it to look a bit more like what you want. But this foundation you did not create. Please understand that. That's why people are pissed off. Right? You can have creative vision. You can take pride in your creative vision. When I ask someone for like art and I say, Oh God, I can imagine this character... Here's a detailed character design. Here's what I want them to look like. They provide me with the, with, with the artwork. That is my creative vision. That is my, you know, fucking idea. But they are the artist. They made that happen. Don't you see that? They, they, they physically created it. 
with their hands. Every time I commission someone now, I'm going to claim the art is my own and that I was the one who did it. <sighs> Fuck, it's so infuriating. We need to get our definitions right. But to achieve that, that's going to require me editing the image into a far stronger guide to what I want the final image to okay. be. And so to do that, we're going to bring it into Photoshop, but first we want a more detailed version of this same image. And so we're going to repeat the seed with the exact same prompt, which means we're going to generate the exact same image, but we're going to do the high res fix, which is going to upscale it using the same seed input which means the additional detail it's going to add is not going to warp the image away from what we want. So it generates the exact same image and then you're going to notice that it gets blurry once again. This is what the high res fix is doing. It adds more noise to the image and then adds greater detail upscaling it into a larger size. Now that we have this image in Photoshop, I'm going to recompose many of its elements to the image that I want it to. It looks like all the others by the way. be and I wonder if any of you can actually see what I see in this image the <sighs> fucking hell that's bold I wonder if you guys can see what I can see let me think I wonder if you can see what I can see I see Supergirl stepping onto a building after flying somewhere I suppose we'll find out what he sees. Judging by the reference he showed us at the beginning, he's probably going to delete the building and just have her flying. If that's the case, then, I mean, it looked incredible. The potential. Take a good look at it. But in any case, Take I am going to show it, you. So I bring the image into Photoshop, and I see that there is a problem with the left shoulder. There is a bit of armor there that doesn't fit. So I'm going to copy the right shoulder over and place it over the left one. Just so you kind of like the shoulder armor. When I regenerate this image, it's not going to have a silver kind of mark there. It's going to register that no, this is supposed to be blue and it's going to regenerate the image with the correct shoulder. The right hand has potential, but the left hand is a mess. So we're simply going to take the right hand and copy it over to the left one. This doesn't mean that I want the hands to look exactly the same. Oh, it's just like watching that fucking Da Vinci at work. The AI is going to have a much stronger guide to make a oh. far more realistic looking hand when we regenerate this image. Now we come to one of the more important parts of this recomposition of the image to give a much stronger guide to what I want to achieve and it's in the cape. There is something really cool here in the cape that has great potential. You might not be able to see it but you, you might not be able to see it like I can me with the artistic fucking vision. Um sure. You're gonna mirror it. See it as I alter the image. And part of me altering the cape, I'm also going to be changing the background. I want an image of Supergirl flying through the air. And this actually no has way, a brilliant Supergirl beginning flying. for a background sky. But the issue is there are buildings in the way. So we're going to edit out the buildings. This has also given the side cape of Supergirl here a much cooler kind of flaring out silhouette. But that silhouette can be improved once we finish off changing the background to a sky. And we're going to be taking out the flaring kind of side of this cape and copying it to the other side, which is going to give a much more striking silhouette to this Supergirl image. Then we're going to crop and center the image so that silhouette is even more striking and we have the base foundation image of the one that I want to achieve, the wow. vision. Modern art, ladies and gentlemen. I have in my mind has now been composed by hand in photo. By hand? Whoa! By hand? Shit me. Photoshop, this is not the AI doing this. It's this not the AI doing this, this boys. Is me making a hand composition hand based composition. off an AI generated image. Right, based, making based on it. Fucking based on an AI generated image, guys. This is by hand. Many significant changes to achieve a far greater composition that the AI never would have made on its own. I realized that there was one change that I forgot, and that's the kind of metal stockings that she has on her legs. No, I don't want that. So I'm going to paint over this with a basic skin texture, and notice that I'm adding simple shading. What paint are you doing? over this with a. You're using a color picker, right? 
Um, that will be important, I wager. Basic skin texture, and notice that I'm adding simple shading to it. Yet even the simple shading does require a knowledge of basic shading principles. And, and this is where it becomes relevant. You used a fucking color picker on the part that the AI generated for you and smeared it down the leg. Don't you fucking see why this pisses artists off, Shad? Do you not understand that this really fucks with people? Knowledge of composition. Color picker. Smear. Done. I wonder if you can see. And so the previous experience I have in digital coloring is being used to a very- The previous knowledge that you have, which you could have had 10 times more of if you fucking developed your skills. Significant degree here. Without that- You're it using would have the much... fucking color picker, man. You're just dragging down the colors. Much harder for the- It's a done for you. You see this sheen here? You'll just dra- oh well, it's at the top of the leg, it must go down the leg too. The eye to redo the legs in a better, more realistic look. And to have had removed those metal kind of stockings. So I just want you to take a look at the before and after Whoa. of this image. Fuck me! Jesus Christ! By hand! Com like composition. Fuck. That is some sh that is some fucking- Christ, guys. I can't fucking believe what we're witnessing here. That's amazing. <sighs> so let's summarize. You copied and pasted the hand. You copied and pasted the cape. You smeared her legs down. And you fucking... I don't know what you did to the building, but you did something with it. It's, it's, it's been fucking thanos I suppose. Yeah. I, I was I was wrong guys I, I surrender um this is fucking this isn't I couldn't do this God Carmen yeah. if only we had used AI to generate all the illustrations in this book uh, if only we didn't spend fucking hours and hours and hours and hours fretting over every little detail in this book that is available to purchase now <laughs> on all major platforms <laughs> if only we didn't if only we didn't illustrate the cover in such a beautiful way that is personalized where it, it, even the books in the background are colored like some of the key characters just as a little easter egg because that's the type of shit that you can do when you give a fuck available now on all major platforms anyway let's continue sorry go on coming all these edits were done by hand, or, you know, digital hand. You know what I mean. And already yes. there has been significant... Oh, yeah, Shad, you're just, you're just, you're just like me. Significant human input. Significant human input. How about we write that down as well? God, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. It's like... I don't even I don't even know where to fucking begin, and believe me, I haven't begun. We're still in the process of just watching the video, but oh, fuck. to get the results that we want, and to say the final image that we're going to get out of this foundation was just made by the AI is completely false and disingenuous. Fucking hell! You cannot be serious. You did not just say that. You did not just say that after fucking 98.99% of the work was just created for you out of fucking thin air. You're not going to sit there and say that. You are not going to sit there and say that. Was just made. No. No. Please. Stop. It's that we want. And to say the final image that we're going to get out of this foundation was just made by the AI is completely false and disingenuous. Oh well, yeah, there, there folks. The Fucking beginning. hell, you have it there. Um, brilliant. 
fantastic. There's a lot more involved to get the final result. Okay, let's, let, you know yeah. what? We're halfway through. I'm not impressed so far. Great composition with dynamic lighting, a good pose. Which you didn't fucking create. You asked for it and it was given. Transactional. When I create a character in CGI, I don't fucking ask Blender for it. I start with a cunting cube and I have to create it. When Carmen wants to create one of her illustrations, she starts with a white page. A sculptor starts with a blob of clay. Your definitions of artistic input and mine are, are, are diametrically opposed. In the combination of using the strengths of the Rev animated model and my own artistic eye and digital illustration. Your own artistic eye. Yeah, okay. In ability to achieve it. And so now I want to make this image more realistic and to do that. Why? Why do you want to make it more realistic? Stop. Please. Not everything has to be realistic. You, I mean, you, you can if you want. It's your choice. It, that's a subjective argument. I'm not going to put that forward as a as one of my key points. But uh, personally, uh, style anyone? A photograph? Look, here's the thing. When you're dealing with complete photorealism, there isn't really any room for a signature, you know, from, from you, the artist. There just isn't. We need a different checkpoint model. We're going to switch from the Rev animated model. He's going to download more skills. It's like fucking everything everywhere all at once. He's just downloading these fucking skills. Jesus. To the realistic visions oh, model. Fuck, I know Kung Fu. So now we take this foundation, this edited version, and put it into... And I've got to, the I've got to ask, um, AI artists are just art thieves on the same level as deviant art thieves. Well, we'll get into that later. I would just like to ask, this is trained on somebody's style. Yes, we can agree on that, because it is. It is. I'm pretty sure like 90% of it is they, they, no, Sakimi-chan. They have to be, yes. Because right, Sakimi-chan, she, um, she's this artist. Um, she's known for basically doing these really realistic renderings of anime women or anime characters, yeah. mostly women. Um, people really like it, so I know a lot of her shit was put through to be trained on. An, an, an art style is an artist's fingerprint, right? It's their unique DNA that identifies them, that they work hard to develop, right? This is trained on someone else's DNA, someone else's blood, yeah? When it was in the earlier stages, you could see where people's signatures... Yeah, yeah, the signatures were fucked up. They've just gotten much better at disguising it. And it's going to continue to get better. Yeah. It's just when he says, like, this is my style. It's like, it's someone's style. You know? Some poor bastard out there. Image to image function of stable diffusion. The generations now are going to be based off of this foundational image okay. using the realistic vision. And I would also like to just say, go back to his note, it's not random. When there's a button there that just says fucking generate. And he has already mentioned in the video that the process can take up to uh, an another note coming up. 1,000 tries, but it's not random. 1,000 tries, but it's not random. The AI animated movie made months ago was all based on the Vampire Hunter D's art style. Doesn't fucking surprise. It has to be. Maybe it won't be forever. Quantum computing and all that shit, it exists. Um, we'll get to that. And the result is actually pretty darn cool already. Many people might be yes, happy- it looks with like a photograph. ...with this result. Especially if they don't have the artistic eye to see all the errors oh, in stop it. stop saying that. Fucking hell. I don't like the... the some people, of course, don't have the artistic eye to see this. Let's see if we can spot some fucking errors. Well, her hand is fucked up. Um, for a start. Again, there's the, the, there's the recurring issue of the sun behind her. 
and yet the light source is coming from the front. I don't know what's going on with the patterns on the actual uh, suit. There's two different clips for the cape. This whiff of hair is going somewhere. I don't know where. Where's that coming from? But of course, remember guys, if you don't have the artistic eye, you might not be able to spot some of them. Or the ability to fix those errors. We're going to adjust some of the settings here. No Seeing this guy is live, the ability to fix these errors. Let's, all right, let's, let's actually watch what he does. So let's pay attention here. Or the ability to fix those errors. We're going to adjust some of this. Moving the bar up. Settings here. He's no moving that bar up. Knowing how again. the adjustment is going to affect the output. And he's pressing the button. Whoa! Whoo! Shit in hell. What was that? Three mouse clicks? Jesus, your fucking finger must be sore. Is also very important. The denoising strength and the CFG scale. I want to give the AI a little more freedom in altering it, but not too much. And so I'm going to regenerate the image now. And what I've done right here, knowing how to work the settings to get the results you want, is something that only comes with experience and practice. It is literally a skill that you develop using this new tool. I, I can sympathize with that specific notion that using the tool, you obviously get better at it. You do develop a skill but it's not a creative skill it, it isn't you're moving dials you're typing in fucking letters you're 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 fucking with the settings and you're hoping to christ that it gives you something that you want and then when it gives you something close you fucking photo bash the rest in some other software in five minutes and then just give it and just let it finish like i said everything the lighting the 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 lighting the pose the clothes uh the face, the anatomy, the hair, ev everything that you're looking at, he did not create. He asked for it. <sighs> he asked and Alan delivered. And the final result is better. Specifically, look at how much better the hands are because I was able to give the AI a little more freedom to push it towards the results that I want. But it also changed the feet a little bit and I like the feet of the original base image a little better. And so I'm going to generate a new image with less freedom to get the feet I want. And so what I'm doing here is I'm generating for different results at different parts of the image. Different settings sometimes gives enough freedom to get a better result, say, on the Superman. Not random, guys. Yes, but lower settings will get a better result for the feet. And so then, what am I supposed to do if I like one thing from one image and elements of another one? Well, you go into Photoshop and you, you take your fucking glue stick and your scissors and you fucking stick them on like a toddler and then you get the far more talented and intelligent AI to fix your mess. Am I close? Well, we're going to combine them. Yes. And we do that in Photoshop. And so I have three base images that I'm going to work with and I'm going to grab some of the best elements of each. It's done the foot really, really well in this image, but only the left foot. So I'm going to grab that and then I'm going to change that into a right foot and add it to the image. Again, the ability to do this requires knowledge of anatomy and proportion. Because I know how to draw feet, I also know how to- You're copying and pasting the feet that was fucking the foot that was generated for you. What do you mean? Anatomy and proportion. You just cut the fucker out change and warp this one so it will match a right foot in the image. Literally photo bashing from the assets I've been able to create. Create, don't stretch the word, the assets that you were given. All right, I'm not letting you get away with that. You did not create them, you were given them. From the AI image generator. There are some unnecessary parts, additions on the skirt that shouldn't be there so we're going to remove that as well this is simply having an eye for proportion and consistency in the image <laughs> the skirt is also too short for my liking as well so we're going to increase the length and it doesn't need to be flawless in its quality it's going to mess up the consistent lines of the pleats of the skirt yes it doesn't need to be flawless it just needs to be rushed fuck it the ai will fix it guys why do you need to develop a skill or an eye for detail when the ai will fix it that actually doesn't matter because what we need is to give the AI a guide so it knows what to fix. 
That's what we're doing here. And what we want to fix is specifically the length of the skirt. It will be able to fix the pleats on its own if we give it enough freedom, specifically in the denoising strength. There is another error here on the image that you need to have a keener eye to see. Do you see an on another error on the image? The right part of the cape, how the sky is brighter above the cape but darker underneath. That oh yeah, nice spot. You must have a real artistic eye. Yeah. Well, you're an artist now, yeah. You, I, fuck, fuck it, I lose, man. We all lose. Yeah. This, the sky that the AI fucked up, yeah. It gives a kind of unnatural transition to the cloud, so we're just going to brighten it a little underneath the cape so it looks more natural. The way the cape connects to the top is also a little inconsistent, and I would actually like kind of metal toggles or something that's going to attach the cape to the outfit, so we're going to add two gold lines added by gold accents on the outfit this means removing certain lines that we don't want on the image and adding new lines that we want the ai to latch onto and fix Fucking we're also hell, going man. to readjust the color so the ai again has a stronger guide to color the image how we want and here is the before and after of the image with the edits that we have made in first wow Absolutely fucking magical. This is art. Photoshop. There is another significant element that we're going to do here that's going to help improve the quality of this image dramatically. So much so that my graphics card doesn't actually have the power to do it. <laughs> we want the image to be <laughs> a higher hell, resolution. Imagine having which the graphics card to, to make the... this. Imagine not having a graphics card to produce this details to a large degree but if my computer isn't strong enough to handle such a high resolution image how are we going to continue improving the image well the key is using the in well the answer certainly isn't to draw it feature of stable diffusion the resolution that we're going to the key is using the in painting feature of stable diffusion the resolution that we're going to increase the image to is 2000 pixels high on its length so whatever the width is it's going to adjust automatically but the height of the image is now 2000 pixels and we're going to bring that into stable diffusion by using the in painting feature the image generator doesn't need to generate a 2000 pixel high image and overtax my computer it's only going to generate the section of image that i'm highlighting which is actually closer to around 700 pixels, not 2000. But it also means that section of image is a higher resolution than what it was. This is actually a more advanced technique that not many people know of who do stable diffusion image generation. A more advanced technique. Guys, look at what's on the screen right now. Just coloring in this piece like this. A more advanced technique. The Romans clearly knew fucking nothing when they were building their mosaic bathhouses. The Greeks and their statues and their paintings. Uh, you artists watching this now, all your techniques. You fucking wish you had this sort of fucking knowledge at your disposal. Yeah. Modern techniques, advanced modern techniques that not everyone knows about. Not everyone is privy to this. Yeah. By increasing the resolution. It's like a fucking, you know, prove you're not a robot sign in thing. Highlight the fucking red monkey. Highlight the torso. Well, let's see what happens. ...of the image, and then using in-paint to generate smaller sections of that image. One, of course, you're able to produce a much oh, higher... By the way, I would just like to point out that um, I think a lot of people watching this have experimented with AI, especially when it first came out. Um, you obviously want to know what, what it is capable of and, and, and why people are so excited about this. I knew about this, that the whole painting around things... Uh, it's not it like the setting is like just right there you just click the button it's not an advanced technique fucking hell rotoscoping is an advanced technique you know 
resolution image from the generation phase, but this also enables you to control and get much higher details. Especially smaller details that stable diffusion can't usually define or latch onto when the image resolution is too low. This can be important with small elements of the picture like buckles or buttons or symbols, eyes and more. And so we're going to regenerate that section of image using the image to image feature, so it's using the input image as its base and foundation to be the primary guide for the results. And sometimes the results are very subtle and different, but as I compare them, I can see that the S works better in one and that the belt looks better in another. And so we're going to bring that image back into Photoshop. Oh, just fucking draw it, man. You fuck, God, how long is this taking? How many hours is this? It's nauseating. Oh, I God. This is the same guy that said, oh, I just I just never could find it in me to do all the digital stuff and all the... But you, you're doing this? Fucking hell! It's just like if you, if you put your <sighs> skills somewhere else, or if you put your time somewhere else, you've actually improved these skills. <laughs> it's... I mean, he typed, he typed in the prompt. Let's just do a quick recap here. Um, he typed in the prompt. I did the thing. He edited it slightly. You know, nothing fucking groundbreaking. A flipped hand here and there. And there you go. Art. I think my, my, my issue here is that They want us to, like, this whole video exists to prove that AI is actually a lot of work and effort and takes a lot of passion, right? Um, did, and what did he say? He said, a, a thousand, thousands of tries. That's got to be, like, hours, if not th He said he spent, you know, God, what was it? Like, a, I need to go back and check. Days in the dozens at least. What was it? A hundred days? I don't. Th it can't have been a hundred days. I must be tired. But he spent a long fucking time training this um, this AI um, to do this. And so, what I see a lot is that they want to say that AI is a very useful tool for artists. You know, very convenient, very helpful, saves a lot of time, it's the future. But then when people say shit like, um, well, art should take time. It shouldn't be convenient. It, 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 it should be, you know, a difficult process. Pressure, you know, and heat to create true beauty. As soon as people start bringing this fact up, the line shifts to, oh, well, AI art just take, take, takes just as much effort. You know, it takes hundreds of hours, months to learn, you know, three hours on this piece alone, you know? So my response to that is like, does... Well, why not just draw the picture then? You know, I'm not fucking around. Like, I know people who could paint this image with ten times the style and flair in a few hours. You know? You, you no know, hundred hours or whatever the fuck training the AI. None of that shit. No, no photo bashing. They could draw it. They could draw it. They Or paint it. Um, There's people like this who could put this shit together in under an hour. Uh, so which is it? Is, is it really convenient and time effective? Or is it just as much effort as, as real art? And I think the answer is it's just convenient. And I think the real answer, the real answer that, that, that they're ignoring is it's cheap. It's free. I think that's the fucking incentive. It's free. You don't need to pay someone. You don't need to hire employees that cost money that need health insurance. You can just give it to fucking Alan. And he'll fucking generate whatever you want. And you can take everything from it. It's cheap. That's what it comes down to. It's free. Can we just cut the fucking bullshit? 
if your argument is that AI is super convenient and super fucking easy and it can save so much time, great. But you can't say in the same breath that it's also just as meticulous and just as fucking, you know, brain blasting as an as an actual piece of art. What you, the, the fucking hell? You're saying two different things. It's cheap and it's convenient and, and it's fast. Most people don't go through this type of effort. He's really jumping through hoops here to get like specific details. Most concept artists, um, most productions that need concept art don't give a fuck if the, the left toenail is fucked up. They'll just take it and run with it. They don't give a shit. They do, I'll make it, oh, I'll do, <laughs> shoot the scene. It's cheap. It is replacing artists, and it will continue to do so. Because it doesn't cost anything, and it's fast. And the average person won't be able to tell. Yes, and, and people people can't tell now, generally speaking. There, there have been so many fuck-ups online of people getting harassed because your art is AI. Well, actually, it isn't. It was made in 2014. It's just like, fuck. It's just created dis distrust like of our own eyes of our own ability to divine what is real fuck it's just because you can do something it doesn't mean you should and we're going to make certain corrections the shade transition on the bust is too jarring and it makes them look pointed and so we're going to smooth those out we're going to remove certain lines that we don't want on the outfit and we're going to make the toggles that are connecting the cape consistent on each side, removing certain artifacts and elements on the image that don't make sense, like fixing up the neckline. We're going to bring that image back into stable diffusion image to image. Does anyone we'll else find this really like stress inducing? Like who would want to do this? Like fuck me. And it's not even something you did. You, 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 you have that in the back of your head. Don't lie. You wish you could create something like this yourself. You, you wish that. You long for that. But you're scared to fail. You're scared to be ridiculed and mocked online for not being good enough. Because it happens. It's happened to me. It happens to everyone. It's what separates the fucking wheat from the chaff at the end of the day. You know? Uh, the boys from the men. Whatever the fuck you want. Some people just fucking take it, you know? And they use it to develop themselves and get better at something. Uh, they look themselves in the mirror and say, well, I can do better than this. And they do. And and maybe they'll never be perfect. Maybe, maybe perfection isn't the point. But, um... It's better than this. I just don't see it. It just strips all the humanity away. Yeah. It, this just comes from insecurity. It just comes from complete insecurity. I can see the timeline. You have some, some art at the beginning of this video with some excellent potential. Some great ideas on the paper. You know, I would, I would, I would commission Shad for some of the drawings like that. I would. I'd spend money on it. I would pay money to get rid of this. You know? Or I would sue for compensation for having to look at it. It's not the same. It's... Look at this. Look at what's on screen right now. Is this what you want? Is this the future? Are you happy about this? That this is what art is now? That this will only get worse? I don't know. It just... It doesn't... It doesn't make me, um, it doesn't make me happy, you know? We're going to lower the settings so it doesn't alter it as much, but using as a guideline for the new image, we're going to generate different results. And it's already looking much better with higher detail. And there are still many additional things that we need to fix. Oh, fuck me, man. Draw it. The next stage is fixing the skirt, and so we're going to bring. Fixing shit. Just fixing shit, man. 
taking that into inpainting, so like the skirt, and adjust the settings to generate a much better, more consistent result. But it's not perfect. There are still edits and fixes that we need to make in Photoshop. So I bring it back into Photoshop and make those fixes. Some of the gold lines have become washed out. So we're going to do another color kind God, of correction and guideline in the image, putting that on a new layer and adjusting the layer settings so it blends nicer and gives a better guide for the AI. There's also an error on the seam line of the neck that we're going to fix here. And you might notice it's the tool like, that- It's I'm like a cartoon of someone trying to flatten out a rug and they they just keep creating new bumps that they need to keep stamping it's so stressful to watch my fucking heart rate's going up i'm using most of all is the stamp tool in photoshop back into in painting we select the top and we have a better guide to generate the results that we want i specifically want the top to look less like cloth but a thicker type of material verging on armor and so i adjust that in the prompts giving greater weight to what i want and look at how the result so I adjust that in the prompts, giving he didn't show us what he typed in. greater weight to what I want, and look at how the results already look more armoured or more metallic. Whoa! Well done, Shad. Click. And it's through experience that I now know how <laughs> adding weight to certain words... Yes, through fucking... yeah. Sure, yeah. You're the man in the prompt will affect the image. This is one of the reasons why I have far more control in producing the images that I want over a person who just copied. Chad, even now, the image that is on screen compared to the one that was just generated is almost the same. And pasted it upon- I'm gonna wait for him to full screen it again. Prompt ...and doesn't actually know how those words in the prompt is affecting the finer results of the image generation and therefore they don't know what words to emphasize or de-emphasize to add or remove to get far more refined and specific results. It's knowing how to make subtle differences like this, how to guide the AI to the image that you have in your mind that is so- Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do this is my question. Why, why is this the process you choose? Can we do it? Sure. We're almost through the video. We'll, we'll, we'll get to my full response once we're finished. So important that enables you to get more specific results. And it also proves that getting these specific results is literally impossible. Right, okay. Specific results. And it also proves that getting these specific results is literally Right. That's the image he has right now. Where is it? Where's the image that was generated? Okay. That's the image that we have right now. What timestamp are we on? 2732. That's the image right now. And that's the image he started with. I mean, again, everything about the image is the same. Besides the fact that he's changed the textures and fucked around with the building and yeah and by the way all these extra details that he's added on he didn't do either it's just it's the same image but a robot now an error on the seam line of the neck that we're going to fix bolts of the image to the image and human input this literally feels like me making changes on a canvas with a brush fuck off Oh, God. What the fuck do you mean? This feels like me changing things on a canvas with a brush. Jesus Christ, what are you talking about? You're not. You're fucking with settings, and it keeps just sending you back things with different errors in it. And you're just constantly fixing them. Christ. This whole process is fixing something. Just draw it. We know you can. That's the thing. And if you were to draw it, I think it would be fucking good. I think your shading needs a lot of fucking work. I think your digital art needs a lot of fucking work. But if you spent all the time that you spent fucking around with AI on your actual skills as a human being, as a man, you, you, you would be able to produce something better than this. In half the fucking time. 
have some fucking self-confidence. Fucking believe in yourself. And based on the results, I go back into the prompt, changing it, making greater weight and differences, continually You're lying to yourself, refining towards the result that I want. And we finally have a much better image, which is the sure. direct result of very intentional action taken by myself. This wasn't the AI pushing for these results, that was me. Okay, yeah, sure. But you're still forgetting the fact that the face, the hair, the pose, the lighting, the anatomy, the costume was still done by the AI. And all you did was photo bash slight fucking inconsequential changes um, to get this. Great. I mean, fucking, wow. Why? Like, fuck, it's just the hoops you have to jump through. And it doesn't even fucking, like, does it look realistic? Yes. Does it look good? N no, not in my opinion, it doesn't. Because it doesn't inspire any form of emotion. It looks like just some fucking photograph. I, there's something just off about it. The face is weirdly realistic, and then the body just isn't quite right. There's just something... Her skin on the leg looks really plastic and glossy, and the face just looks... I, come on! J just... And, it, of course, it you doesn't... Gotten, you gotten, it doesn't have style. The thing is, you could have gotten a similar result in taking less time by just doing photo bashing Photoshop. Yeah, you probably could have just taken a picture of your wife and just edited it in Photoshop. Uh, fuck. As if I had a digital brush remaking the image. Still not perfect, we need to make some fixes of in Of course, more fixes. What's he gonna fix now? Photoshop. Removing lines, artifacts, defining certain shapes, fixing up colors and more. Back into image to image, we're going to do another generation, but with a much lower setting. Because we don't want the AI to change the image too much at this point. But what we want is for the AI to blend all those edits together so they look seamless. And look at the result here. This is so, so much better. In fact, the top- Yes, and you didn't do it. Is basically done. It's easily of high enough quality that many people would be happy with. I'm going to make some additional edits a little later on, but we are ready to move on to other elements of the image, like fixing up the skin tone on the legs, fixing up the hands and so they look far better and more realistic. This again is literally digital illustration that I'm applying to the image. Digital illustration, filling in the index finger with a color pick tool. How does that make you feel, Carmen, as a professional illustrator and animator? Something you do for a job? I mean, it, to be honest, it just kind of makes me feel bad for some of my peers. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, art isn't the end goal for me in life, so... Oh no, you've got your chemistry degree. Yeah, so it's... For it people who have it all in with this... It, yeah, like, I mean, it, it is a threat. With all the people saying that, oh, AI looks like shit, the hands are always wrong, it's not going to look like shit forever. It's going to be indistinguishable from regular artist's work. My main concern with it is the misinformation that's going to be spread. Oh, yeah, that's and good. And I feel like that that's when it's going to actually get regulated. Yeah. Image. We're going to fix up the color in certain parts as well, and then even make more significant changes to the color because I actually want red cuffs instead of pure gold. So this is a matter of adding a color layer and adjusting the layer settings to change the color from underneath, but using the same texture and shading. This transparent tool, yes. Very Back into image to image, and then I'm going to regenerate the hand and cuffs. But I want the prompt to guide it in the direction where I want, and there is a lot of elements in the prompt that are completely unnecessary for hands. I first need to add detailed hands to the prompt for it to give it a focal point that I'm generating hands here. And then I can remove a lot of the other unneeded elements. And now the hands are looking much, much better. But the cuffs don't look metallic enough or armored enough. So I'm going to regenerate those with the Mecha Laura added back in, which is going to make it look more metallic. The add-on that you downloaded. 
work. And with that, we are almost done the larger elements, bringing the image into a higher resolution. And the next crucial stage is to generate a higher resolution and more detailed face. I mean, the head's looking a bit too big, to be perfectly honest. But of course, we're going to be giving this image the face of my wife. And so I'm going to load in the model that I personally trained. And we're going to use that in image to image to generate my wife's face. And I'm going to adjust the prompt to give her the expression that I want. I want her smiling. My wife has one of the most beautiful smiles in the world. And so we generate it several times with different settings until we have a face that is actually I'm looking... It's great that you love your wife, um, but the head is too big. Now it looks like a genuine, like a, like a wedding photograph pasted on top of a semi-realistic cartoon. That is not good. I'm sorry. Um, she's got a massive head. The intent is is very romantic and honourable, you know. Um, no, no one's gonna, you know, throw shade at you for that. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a clash of style here. One is clearly modelled off a semi-realistic art style painting, and the other one is just a photograph really really nice and the image could be considered mostly complete at this point but i'm a perfectionist and i'm an artist i want this image to be as good as possible this is the difference between someone with an artistic eye an eye for proportion and detail versus someone who doesn't okay. there are many people who would look at this image and not be able to see any additional errors or flaws and that can be well enough i think someone would have every right to be proud of the final result and quality of this image it is beautiful but there is a difference between making good ai art and making some of the best i want the top to look a bit more her head is too big that like armor and so i'm going to start regenerating the top with a greater weight on armor no with the you're Mecha making Laura her waist thinner back in. her and head is too big there are some interesting results with good Jesus potential Christ. i'm going to combine some of the best features of both the chest and center of this image is really really you've just fucking undone all the shit you did you've just generated a whole new torso what was the fucking point of all those things you added in why why I... Pro proportion my fucking ass <laughs> shut I don't think his wife has those proportions no and god it's like an insult to try to give those proportions to your wife to... no I... well sorry I said I'm pretty sure that his wife in real life doesn't have those proportions I haven't seen a picture of her but it feels kind of like an insult to the wife like unintentionally, uh, I mean, it depends like, on how she feels about it. Like it's no, like, I, I get that. you know, it, it, it. But I could see how something like this, if someone were. It's very it, yeah. It's. It, it comes from a good place of, like it comes from, like a caring place. Like oh, I'm making art for someone that I really care about. But whenever you take away a lot of the qualities of them, then it just makes it seem like. A yeah, I, 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 yeah. Like if. I, I get. I get. Making art of me, and then you gave me like a, the fattest ass or the yeah. biggest tits. I, I wouldn't. I would kind of pat you on the head and be like, "Oh, thanks, Sam." But deep down, I'd be like, "Damn, is that how he wants me to be?" I yeah, I get that. This is a very romanticized image, but he said that at the beginning. Yeah. It's just her head's too big good but the wrinkles on the side look awful and so i'm going to bring in the side part yeah it looks like shit man and all the stuff you did went where the fuck did that go you're stressing me out it's of the body from another image i'm going to clean up and reposition some of the line work bring back the gold highlights <laughs> doing the fucking highlights again and bring back a much better looking oh, belt that was on one of the previous versions there are some other errors on the image that need to be fixed, like the position of the cape. The it looks like there's just a separate bit of detached cloth. The cape is coming down far too low here compared to how it flares out on the side, and so we're going to remove those incorrect elements on the cape. 
The earring is standing out too much and doesn't suit the image, so we're going to remove that. Yeah, it's a photograph. And the expression of my wife just doesn't look right. And so I'm going to load <sighs> oh, God. in another face model, which generates my wife's face in a more artistic style, which won't suit the image. I but bet it'll look the fucking same. But it always does better proportions. And so I'm going to generate a version with that. <sighs> oh, fuck me. Model of my wife's face. Sad. Buddy. Fucking hell. I feel like an asshole and I really don't want to, like... I do enjoy this guy's fucking medieval content. I would even recommend his content for that stuff. He knows a lot about swords and weaponry and, and history. And he's doing this, this, this interesting series about castles. I, I really really want to emphasize that I have nothing against the man. But this is fucking... It's doing something to me. It's having an effect on my brain. And I don't like it. This couldn't have been a worse video to sell me the merits of AI. Make just make her head smaller. Use that as a base guide and then. Paragraph 11. Sam, you don't sound like you're attacking this guy. If anything, the attitude I got from you is I'm not mad, just disappointed. Yeah, I, I am. Like I said, I, I look, Shadverse, Shadowversity, like, I think he's been in controversies before because of stuff on his other channels. I don't watch those on other, other channels. I just like content about medieval stuff um i've been researching the crusades recently uh you know i'm, I'm writing my second book and I, as you guys know or you know those of you who have read it um there's 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 a lot of stuff pertaining to this 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 religious uh faction you know so i'm looking at a lot of mythological history and, and all this stuff and uh you know shad knows a lot about Things like that. Uh, and I think he can draw. I think he's a decent artist. You know? I just don't know why he's doing this. And use the more realistic face model to give us the final expression. And it looks more natural with a better smile. Because I... <sighs> yeah, okay, that looks a bit better, yeah. I was just generating a section of her head. Her hair now looks of a different style compared to the hair that is flying off to the left. Wait a minute, hang on. I mean, her, her nose completely changed. See, I don't, I don't know what his wife looks like, because this, this isn't a good reference, obviously, because whole portions of her face are just changing per second. The final expression, and it looks more natural with a better smile. Because I was just generating a section of her head, her hair now looks of a different style compared to the hair that is flying off to the left. And so I'm going to select the hair and regenerate it so it's consistent. We are now very, very close, but there are still some finer details that just need to be fixed, like the sections of cloth here on the skirt, some odd indents and lines the on head. the top, and there is too sharp a transition on the shading on the bust, and so we're going to smooth those out. This is looking pretty darn good, but there is a problem with the image, and once again, I wonder if you can notice it. Only someone who is familiar with anatomical proportions would be able to notice this. The head is too fucking big, Shad. Make the head smaller, please. Her shoulders fucking are hell, man! to the rest of her frame. It makes her look way too bulky. And so we are going to fix body these proportions smaller. with the Photoshop Liquify tool. Simple, subtle changes, but it actually has a very significant effect on the overall appearance and composition. Fucking hell! Man! 
Come on! How can't you see that? It's... No one has a head that big. Not even my fucking father. The shoulders now look consistent with the rest of her face. Look, I've always called him Pumpkinhead, right? And overall, she looks more feminine and delicate, which I personally like and is more accurate to my wife as well. Okay, feminine and delicate, I suppose. Except the head. Just... <sighs> Fucking hell, man. With all these changes done, we are now ready to generate the final oh, high it's resolution. Still not done. Fucking hell. Inversion. We're going to use the Ultimate SD Upscaler, which is an extension that you can download in Stable Diffusion. Of course, download that as well. Um, Spectre von Baron again. It's like watching a man try to make clay figurines in pouring rain while <laughs> insisting it's a per it's perfect while it melts <laughs> before his eyes yeah that's a fucking beautiful analogy creating a sandcastle while the tide comes in <laughs> yeah he's just he's creating these fucking things like these embellishments he's fixing them and then he generates it and it all fucking goes wrong and then he has to fix different things and that fucks up and <laughs> is this really the process of ai i didn't know this I thought I you you know what I genuinely thought that AI was pretty much just typing a prompt and an image pops up, but it's so much worse than that. It doesn't even pop up fucking right. It pops up fucking wrong, and you have to then generate more and more and more and more. What did he say? Thousands of tries. I'm starting to fucking believe it. The head does the head does not look normal. Oh, let's go back. <laughs> what? Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, no. It's the size, right? This needs to be scaled down. Just to size the head down. Our ultimate SD upscaler, which is an extension that you can download in Stable Diffusion, using the 4x Ultra Upscale checkpoint, another thing that you can download, we're going to increase the resolution by three times which is going to add lots of finer details. And here we have the final image. And when I look at it, I'm honestly put in a state of awe as to how beautiful this image is. I am very happy for you. I'm glad this brings you joy. You obviously love your wife very much. It's very commendable. Um, we all love our wives. But we are, yeah, I mean, yeah. But this is not good. It's not. I'm sorry. I fuck. I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything. This isn't personal, by the way. I I, I wish you wouldn't have used your fucking wife because it's so difficult to critique knowing that it's someone you really care about. <sighs> the. The result has no style, no signature, no DNA. Um, it inspires nothing in um, me. And I think the reason it isn't inspires awe in you is because you are in awe of your wife. And that's, you know, that's cute. But maybe you just love your wife. This Fuck. The lighting, the movement, the flow of the hair, cape and cloth, the design of the outfit, the finer details, the metallic sheen and how the S just and you pops did none of it. out at you. And of course, it has the beautiful face leg, of my wife. What leg? Out at you. Oh yeah. Yeah, he did. He fucking he used the fucking smooth tool on that. Remember, guys? Remember, he used the color picker and smoothed it? Yeah, boy. And of course, it has the beautiful face of my wife. And now, let's just compare the before and we go. Fucking hell. after. This was the beginning image generated from the first prompt.
we were able to take that prompt, which already... Yes, okay. You know that thing you can do where you blur your vision? I think everyone can do it. You can do it, right, Carmen? Yeah. I want everyone to blur their vision when it comes to this upcoming part. And I'll flick between them. It took a lot of human input to refine and get right, generate an image, and using all the artistic ability that I've developed through my life, we were able to turn that image into this. Right. Everyone blur your vision right now. <laughs> the only reason I knew you changed it was from you clicking. Again, the the pose... Here's the thing. The anatomy on this, the AI one, is pretty... Is, is better than this. I don't know what you've done to it, man. You've made it worse. It, am I crazy, or is this actually better than that? I mean, the hair on that one's better. Even the cape, the way the cape is shaded is better. The sheen on the armor is better. The pose is better. The anatomy is better. Do you see what I mean about the head size now? It's like... It's not the head that's, that's gotten smaller, it's the body. The body has gotten much more uh, petite, but the face does not accommodate it for this particular angle. Maybe it's because she's leaning forward. I think it's also a thing with the stylization, because with the other one, with that sort of anime girl, Sakimi-chan art style, you can get away with stuff like that and have it look fine, you know, but whenever you add realistic proportions to Didn't he, areas, he put, it just looks a bit uncanny. He put muscular in the prompt, and then he just made her, like, not muscular, and that's fine, like, you know, you, you can have that. But just make it in proportion. I don't know. It, it's like... <laughs> I, I think he kind of took the soul out of it. At least this one is consistent because it all looks like a drawing. The cape's still a bit fucked up. But yeah. We're not convinced. <laughs> The combination of artistic ability, technical knowledge in the program, working with multiple models, applying lauras to get the effects that we want, multiple different tools within the program, from high res fix, to image to image, to detailed multiple steps of in-painting, personal custom made models that I train myself, and a better extension for a much more refined, upscaled, high resolution result. And that is just having a technical knowledge. That's a lot of words to say you pressed a button. Knowledge of stable diffusion, knowing how to use multiple tools, let alone- Okay, look. Multiple buttons, all right? I'll give you your fucking dues. You pressed multiple buttons, you fucked around with the prompts, and it gave you what, whatever you, you wanted. But you didn't do it, please, God. The illustration ability I was able to apply in Illustration ability? What the fuck did you illustrate? You drew lines on it and then it deleted them and then you drew lines on it again. And you copied the hands. You didn't draw shit. You used the smear tool. Photoshop to edit, clean up, fix, and create the image that I wanted. And here we can see the process which we just undertook. There are some image stages that are not appearing because I didn't save them at that stage. But you can still see the overall process, which took me. It gets fucking worse. Two and a half hours from. Two and a half hours. Let me tell you guys, I just want to be fucking clear. I can make a 3D model in that time. I can. From scratch, from, from Cube, I can make a 3D model in that time. And I, and I actually uh, make it. But of course, what the fuck do I know? Start to finish. A lot more time, work, effort, and skill needed than just a click. Sure, if you're if you're going to be precious, if you're going to be precious about the result, sure. But you didn't really change much of anything. It's still a picture of 
Supergirl that in the same pose with the same fucking background yes you remove the building well done but it is the same pose it is very much the same image right the content the content has not changed and you did not create the content right a lot of people are creative but not everyone can manifest their creativity those that can we call artists right you shad are an artist as evidenced at the beginning of the video this is not it's a fun tool it's very satisfying but uh no i can't see how i'm gonna let him finish now anyone who watched this entire process could then assume that the ai is just doing all the work and that there is no human artistic vision or input or talent needed People who say such things honestly do not know what they are talking about. They are statements from profound ignorance when it comes to this technology. Of course, what do I know about art? Having done it for 12 years now. Mm, what, do, what, do, what do I know? I'm just fucking ignorant. And deeply insulting to me as an artist who has just made something of deep artistic expression and love for my wife. Look. I'm sorry to keep pausing it. Don't do this. You know what you're doing. You fucking know what you're doing. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm not trying to have a pop at you as a person or your wife. It's annoying that you use your wife in this example. I'm not trying to make you feel bad or reduce the value that you see in your own work, but you are promoting something that is shit and damaging to the, the world of art. This is true. This is what we're going to go into when I actually respond. I know I've been pausing it. I know I've been interjecting it, interjecting, but I mean, of course I'm going to do that because I'm not just going to sit here and let the video play. Um, but yeah, we will, we will get into why this is a problem, a massive fucking problem shortly thank you everyone for just pe being patient while we get to the end of the video um but i did want to let the video play before i said anything of of actual substance the things i've said so far you know comments a few jokes i'm just trying to fucking lighten the mood this is quite depressing to me let's just get through it and not just images of my wife of characters that i love wow. i can also create incredible high detailed truly stunning pieces of art of my own characters and stories. These AI art generators do not need to be feared when used in combination. Yes, they fucking do. With your artistic ability, artists can get the very best results out of AI. It's not about the results. By art generators. They can be the most incredible. Why are you showing that? Fucking bit God, stop showing this picture. Tools for artists. And if artists are worried about getting replaced, they need to understand that they have the ability to make the very best AI art. And they could never be replaced when they're still making the very best quality at a competitive rate, speed, and quantity to what many industries are looking for. Isn't it interesting how he said competitive speed, rate, and quantity? Basically, he said, speed, speed, and speed. And Interesting choice of words, Shad. It's just the commercial industry side of this discussion. The claim that AI art is in no way art at all is a statement of profound ignorance and elitism. And people can- <laughs> Fuck off! Shit! Fuck me, we're so close to the end. Leave that. I need to control myself, just... I just know it's not true, because I know I continually experience deep artistic satisfaction from the things I am able to create with these incredible tools. Because look at this final image. How could anyone say 
that it is made by AI. Are you fucking shitting me? It looks like a cunting photograph. When it is literally impossible for the AI to have made it. You saw it how fucking did how much human input was involved to create this image. This piece of art. I hope everyone who's watched this video now knows that no, this is a piece of art made by me, made by a human, using tools in combination Just with like you people at home who use the filthy stylus pen. Other artistic tools like Photoshop and my own artistic ability. It is still human made art, just assisted with AI technology. That was um, not the argument you thought it was. Um, yeah, that was shit. Um, so now we can finally start to respond and get into it. I have, I've, I've, as the video played, I did want to interject. I wanted to let my thoughts know, known as we went through. Obviously, I'm supposed to be reacting to it, so I've got to fucking do that. I, I didn't just want the video to be just playing. Um, I'm going to get into some of my more substantive arguments now as to why AI is actually um, detrimental to the artistic world. Uh, first, I just want to say that the video I just watched was uh, shite. It wasn't very good. We witnessed a guy provide an AI, a computer, Alan, with a laundry list of demands and then fight for two and a half hours to get the result he wanted and his input was ask just just asking for it um he didn't have to eyeball any anatomy he didn't have to shade it he didn't have to do the line work he didn't have to sculpt it he didn't have to use lighting references he didn't have to do you know i know he did like a thing of his wife's face to train the ai that didn't exactly work work out too well um so yeah let's let's um let's let's get into this a ai artwork is um hang on okay ai artwork is a very intelligent thing it's very clever it's pretty amazing as well it can do all sorts of things anything in your brain that you can imagine you just need to type it in and some magical fucking device will make it happen and as shad proved all you really need to do then is negotiate with this technology to get the perfect result that you're looking for um but just because you can do something it doesn't mean you should so yes, AI is amazing, but it's also fundamentally a shit idea. It's it, it, it's not good for our for our species. Uh, the reason for that is human beings need to do things. We need struggle. We need conflict. Um, it's the process of evolution. It's literally how we evolved. Uh, there's a little thing called natural selection pressure, where when you compete and when you have these pressures applied, you have to adapt and find creative ways to get around certain problems. This is how we ended up with the precision grip with our hands. Uh, and this same thing applies creatively as well. As an artist, you will be faced with uh, an issue. How do I get this to look right? How do I get this to be the, the, the exact shape that I want? How do I creatively solve this problem? And over the course of years, your life even, you will negotiate with yourself 
you will develop yourself and you will harness your creative abilities and you will find ways to get around these problems the, the, doing this will make you a more open-minded intelligent um creative person it will very much make you a better person problem solving makes people better people uh, it, it's it's one of our great assets as an animal so so why is ai a fucking problem for, with with with, with the with that, that context now in place well what ai does is it removes the struggle it removes the selection pressure it removes the inconvenience it provides um it bridges the gap basically so let's use an analogy imagine you have uh, a kid a child right in your care um so your child is going to come across things in life they're going to come across um problems to solve puzzles uh all sorts of things social uh situations they're going to need to build things they're going to need to fix things that they broke now as a parent are you either going to let them when it is safe to do so of course let them make these mistakes let them build these things let them negotiate these social events let them develop themselves let them analyze themselves uh, let them explore who they are and develop creative ways around various problems you should that's how you get a fully developed human being that can contribute to society this is what makes certain societies great um the alter the the alternative uh is to swoop in at at any available opportunity and stop them from making the mistakes to fix all their problems for them to negotiate any inconvenience that might befall them because you love them right you want them to be happy you want them you know to live very convenient cushioned lives what's that going to lead to well they're not going to develop the social skills the mechanical skills the intellectual skills um necessary they are going to be more narrow minded and intellectually incurious and this leads to uh, narcissism it leads leads to all sorts of personality disorders uh, it leads to a underdeveloped mind and god knows we have enough of those in the world right now and the reason for that is because human beings are becoming less and less important in their own world we're doing less we're getting paid less for the things that we do we're being appreciated less um we're being made to feel worthless uh, and i think shad is a prime example of this i think he's been demoralized i think i'm i'm looking at a guy that has been creatively fucking demoralized he's been picked apart and he compares himself to people that he he wishes he can compete with and rather than investing in himself betting on himself taking the time to develop himself he has turned to the lure of convenience the parent figure that will make it all okay that will fix all the problems and that is the essence of ai art and why it's a problem humans need to struggle we need problems to solve and the creative field is one of the most important things in our in our culture if not the most important thing every single culture that has ever evolved in history has been founded upon a story how the world was created x y z gods and mythologies and moralities and sure these things clash but they also lead to the founding foundations of societies and all this stuff all this you know pretty remarkable stuff um and the truth of the matter is that 
it comes from struggle. You have you have to work for what you get. You have to create. You know, you have to innovate. Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. AI f- obliterates that. It completely destroys it. Um, I suppose I see it as the beginning of a troubling trend, a threat. If somebody invented a button where if you pressed it, it sends out a wavelength to explode every human brain, I would say, damn, that is a very clever thing you've made. You've developed this wavelength that can spread across the world and explode the brain, the, 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 the knowledge and mathematics involved. What a clever idea. But why, though? But why, yeah. But why? Why would you invent that? Don't press the button. Because it's also a fucking stupid idea. Do you see what I mean? There is a distinction. You can have both, right? They are not mutually exclusive. AI art is that fucking button, or it's the beginning of one. Uh, It's going to take us down a path where humans don't do shit. Uh, It's not just art. Humans will not be driving cars. We will not be taking orders. We will not be flying planes. We will not be delivering things. That will be drones. Uh, We will not be doing artwork. We will not be doing movies. We will not be doing music. Um, we will be plugged in to a fucking VR simulations exactly like fucking Mark Zuckerberg wants and we will be talking to each other in this non-real world um, with a fucking chip in our heads that overrides our sense of smell so we can't smell the feces on the walls so we can't see how shit the world has actually become that's the future that's what you're building Shad that's what you're promoting it is the inevitable conclusion of this type of silly thinking because you don't believe in your own species. How depressing. How... Uh, how unimaginative. Just because we can remove the inconvenience of certain things, why... Like, there should be an argument as to, as to why we are doing that. You know? You, you want to live in a world where people don't do shit? That's where it leads. You must understand that. You, you cannot be so naive as to think that this doesn't lead somewhere. That it's just going to stagnate from here. That people are going to be around to do the prompts. Who's going to make the prompts? Well, people are obviously silly. You don't think fucking, you know, these hyper-intelligent, ever-evolving AIs and chatbots and quantum computers aren't going to just end up doing that shit anyway for us, you know? And I'm not trying to, you know, this isn't some doomsday prophecy. We're not going to end up with some Skynet situation. We're just going to end up with a a race of people that do nothing. Um, We exist for nothing. Uh, We have no jobs, no function, no utility, no reason to live. And... This is where it gets it, it, it gets dangerous, because humans need problems to solve, right? Humans need a dragon to slay. Every single civilization has this fucking itch to blame something and to worship something. We we are we are a divided animal. It's just part. It's just it's just in our DNA. And when you, when you take away people's ability to problem solve creatively on a piece of paper, to do a job of work, to earn money, to, to, to function in society, when you remove that, we're going to start inventing our problems. And it's already fucking started. Haven't you noticed? Haven't you noticed that people are arguing over the most stupid shit right now? It does. People don't care about visiting other planets. You know, people don't care about methane on Mars. They're just talking shit every day. You know, feeding off. Their misery. So my argument against AIR is is pretty much that. 
Um, Mine is all the misinformation that's going to And the mis- on. yes, of course, and the misinformation. It's just, it's just fucking hell. I mean, obviously, fucking hell. Be- mean, before, whole- hang on, just very quickly, Karen. Before AI was even invented, there was a huge problem. There always has been a problem with misinformation. With, with fucking people just saying shit. I, it's a line in my book from Helgen, no less. Stories don't need to be true to be believed, only told. That's it. But the thing is, with a lot of these AI imagery, a lot of artists will say, oh, well, it's AI, so it looks like shit. It's going to always look like shit. No, it's not. If you look at what it looked like a year ago, whenever all of us were making silly little images on Dolly or whatever it was, versus what it looks like now, it's improved dramatically, and it's going to continue to do that. The technology is there, starting to make videos, being able to replicate audio, and how long is it going to be until that's going to, you know... I think it's already happened where it's replicated, like, certain senators and spreading misinformation like that. I think that was something that had happened with um, some public officials in China. Yeah. Someone just said the voice is right. (laughs) It's already happening. Or the other thing, and I mentioned this earlier. The mushrooms? Yeah, like, a lot of AI books are being generated. A lot of, like, different writings under, you know, Jane Doe, John Smith. Fake authors, basically. No credentials, no anything. Recently, like a couple months ago, there was an AI book that was generated on the foraging of mushrooms where it was saying poisonous mushrooms were safe. Now, if you're a complete novice at mushroom foraging, I don't know shit about mushrooms. And you read that book and you go out into the wild and you're just like, oh, I'll eat this mushroom. You're gonna fucking die or get really sick. Yeah. So I would just like to go over uh, some points in detail. Um, So is AI art theft? Now, Shad, claims in other videos um and on twitter that it is not theft uh technically nothing is being physically taken uh technically uh the image that you're creating is somewhat new however the ai is trained on something it, and it, it is trained on other artists DNA their art style and if you're an artist you should know this art style is is your personality it's who you are as an artist everyone has an art style it's like a writing style it's what defines you your style of writing your style of art your style of music um it's what separates you from other people and AI is trained on other people's images their 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 personalities the image that shad lovingly created for his wife came from someone else i don't know who the artist is i'm sure if you dig through the prompts you would find that out uh but but th- that's based on somebody's art someone out there worked really fucking hard to develop that style of shading that style of line art that style of lighting that style of anatomy that style of composition these things take fucking years lifetimes to develop and artists are very protective of them they should be and ai is just using them because why not and if you're an artist who has a very specific art style and anyone can just generate an image in your style of anything even things that you detest things that are provocative and dangerous or whatever the fuck you want you could be in a lot of trouble is that not a reasonable concern you know for dna their their personality might be used to create shit that gets them in trouble or attacked even is that is that not a a, a point um so even if you want to say well it's not theft 
it's still piggybacking off other people's hard and um styles the, um, if artists could consent to their art being used for this. yeah well that's yeah well there, there's the whole like ethics behind Carmen the listen theory. listen some studios are literally just scanning in pedestrians on the street you know, to use in their fucking shit movies. We're, f we're fucked. Actually, I don't think we're fucked. No. I, I have faith. I Just like... for the record, just for the record, I, I do have faith in our ability to bounce back. I think there can be a cultural paradigm shift. It's not too late. I feel like that there are going to be regulations on it in the future whenever there's more and more misinformation. But the thing where... is... Who's regulating it? And someone's going to have that power. It, you know, and it's, it, it, it's the same thing with like, then we're not going to have the power and then the government is. And they can, and, and if only the government can access this AI power, we're fucked as citizens. Well, yeah, like, like we are Canada. fucked. They can, they can create any narrative they want. They can create, they can synthesize any conflict with any country and just, I mean, of course. And that's not a conspiracy theory. That's just fucking common sense. It's common sense. If they regulate AI and they make it unavailable to the public at large, they will still have access to it, of course. Right? Like, not everyone has access to a fighter jet, but the government does. So, yeah, the genie's out of the fucking bottle on this one, and there's no putting it back in. The only thing that can save us now is a cultural paradigm shift. Um, a new age of enlightenment. Where people start asking themselves w what they really want. Instead of, oh, but we can. Maybe start asking if we should. And, and pursue things that are intellectually satisfying and not destructive. And don't completely reduce the point of being alive. Um, does it require skill? Uh, the answer... Um, my answer now is yes and no. It doesn't require creative skill. No. No fucking way. It does require a certain mechanical skill. Tinkering. Um, the ability to navigate and wrangle uh, a software. It's like using a calculator or Excel or something like that. Um, that it's not a creative skill. No, I'm sorry. Um, because you're not actually doing anything. You're asking for something. Um, a lot of, like I've said this before, a lot of people are creative, but not everyone can create art um, by Shad's logic anyone who gives a commissioner a list of things that they want, the angle, the lighting the fucking pose and all this stuff therefore gets credit for the art, they're the artist because it was their vision, no 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 no, you, you can get credit for the, um, the idea the character you know, might belong to you in this case, it was Supergirl, but, you know, we'll, we'll let that slide. Um, but you don't know... It's not your art. You're not the artist. I don't understand why this is so difficult for these people to understand. Just because there isn't a human being to take the credit, it doesn't mean the credit automatically goes to you. You, you didn't create it either. Um... Yeah. Is it going to destroy art? No. No, it, it, it can't. There will always be people... It, it's kind of like... Light bulb. We still have candles. Yeah. There, there will always... Be people... Who keep these things alive. People who... Believe in these trades. Um... There's plenty of artists that are alive that aren't just going to, like, give up or whatever. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not going to destroy art. It is 
going to diminish art. It's going to diminish its value. And it is going to take jobs. Well, it's already. Oh, yeah, it's taking, taking jobs place. already. That's that's done. Why should I hire um, a team of highly expensive concept artists when I can just type in a prompt at home and get the result within 20 seconds and then fuck around with it for a few hours for free? Um, you know, yeah, so it is going to damage art. It's not just going to damage art, it's going to damage society. N no one will be able to trust their own eyes Nobody will be able to know who's who. Blackmail is going to go through the fucking roof. Well, yeah. Nobody, people no, are already using AI to make revenge pornography. Of people. Yeah. It's illegal in Europe, and a, but I don't think it's illegal in America yet. Yeah, well, the issue is, again, even if they do regulate it for us, someone still has access to it. You think they won't use that? Well, yeah. Of course they fucking will. Don't be naive. Um... So yeah, it's 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 just. Remember when the greatest threat to humanity was um, misinformation via the media. I remember saying that um, that that was, in my opinion, the greatest threat to our species: misinformation per perpetuated by news outlets who just fight for a team propaganda for boy has it gotten worse does it look like shit no AI art does not look like shit um, the one that we saw today definitely looked like not very good again no offense to your wife Shad but yeah it didn't look that good but I've seen pieces of AI art that look pretty fucking amazing. I've seen pieces that, like, you know, I would struggle to distinguish from real art. Um, the result isn't the the problem. The result isn't um, the point, even. Shad, throughout this video, is so concerned with this idea of the result being all that matters. Well, look at the result. Who's going to say that this result isn't beautiful? Who could deny that this result... Chad, listen. Even if the art you produced was fucking mind-blowing, it wouldn't change my problem. It would not change my problem. Um, the reason... The, art, the, the reason artists hate this is because it circumvents self-development. You must understand that we need developed brains on the field these days we we have a a large problem with narcissism people take selfies they use snapchat filters to edit their faces live AIR is going to be used to just I mean it's even it's being promoted chat GDP on your phone you can just take a photo and it changes the faces of everyone who was there brilliant for oh, yeah that's clever in it what a stupid idea though fake memories Ooh, can't wait to live in a world like that Elon Musk with Neuralink You'll be able to record your memories. Oh, that can't be a... F oh, that's not going to go wrong, is it? Just record my memories. It's just... The fucking... It's the shittest ideas I've ever heard. I mean, and, and yes, scientifically, mathematically, technically, they're very clever. But so is that button I mentioned. You know, or the one that you press and it sends a, uh, a, 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 a signal and explodes every human brain. Oh, if someone could invent that, oh, what a clever, what a clever, mathematically clever idea. It's also a shit idea. Don't press the button. Don't do it. Why? why? Yeah, individual, individuality is, is vanishing. <sighs> individuality was never really a thing, though. I mean, fucking hell. I'm an individualist. I have strong opinions on a lot of things, but I will die before I subscribe to a political ideology or a team. That thinking will destroy us. The only way to escape this fucking shit show is for a mass awakening of individuals 
of people who have developed themselves. People who aren't narcissists, who think they're right about everything. People who want their opinions informed and not just in, uh, affirmed. That's why a lot of content on, on online is just people talking shit about things. Because people who share that opinion will just watch it and nod their head and go, Oh, I agree with that. That's what I think. And then they'll then they'll block every, everyone else who doesn't say what they say. Oh, they don't agree with me. They're the enemy. Block them. What the fuck do they know? Blocked. <laughs> fucking morons. Stop it. And AI it fucking encapsulates this thinking. It's just stupid. You know? It's just silly. And so much of it is low-hanging fruit as well. Look at this fucking... This video. Oh boy. Ahsoka is a massive failure. The Force is female three days ago. Half a million views. With whatever the fuck that is. You know, let's go on this channel. Do you miss it? Oh yeah, remember I'm subscribed to this guy as well. This should be good. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry, I'm just I'm just looking. You can see them at the bottom, my face is covered. Do you miss it? But um Art is yeah. <laughs> Basically, people who just um, hate things, and look, I I I I'll admit, I'll fully admit, I love watching content that shits on things that I don't like. Everyone does. Let don't you're not above it. Everyone fucking loves it. It's funny, right? I've been listening to content for like the past few days about Big Ed. Yeah. It's 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 funny. Um but unfortunately a lot of people can't divorce themselves from the entertainment and they just uh and they just treat it like a religion. and and, and they they're, they're not clever enough to think more dynamically about things. Um I'm getting off topic here. Uh, is it art? Uh, in my opinion, in fact, it's not my opinion, this is just true. Art has no real fucking definition that anyone can agree on, at least. Yes, there's a definition in the dictionary, but yeah. I've seen, I've been to art galleries, and I've seen a brick on the floor with... Oh, and the that, fucking Tate Gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Tate Gallery or a pile of clothes. And people will insist to their dying breath that that is art. That it means something. And you can't argue with that. Maybe that's what they see. It's, it's, it so, something to them. it's so subjective. Like, I remember um, it was this image of, like, a, a bunch of lines that were placed. But it was the way that they were placed in little uh, circles or whatever. To where it's one of those, if you know, you know, and it's just like, oh. But a lot of people who don't know, um, it they wouldn't see it in that way. It, it's a thing that only certain people would see. And that just goes for any type of art. Somebody could see all the clothing on the floor, and that could that could have its own special meaning to them. It, it's pretty much a thing that's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. So... If people want to argue about is AI art or not, I think that's just uh, you're never gonna you're never gonna win it. N neither side is gonna win it. We've been arguing about this for forever. What is art? I think the AI the problem with AI art goes much deeper than that. Much deeper than whether or not it's art. I think it's uh, it's the sickening lure of convenience again, rearing its ugly fucking head, taking away people's purpose. And Shad's point is that artists need to embrace it and start using it more and incorporating their artistic skill with AI art to make even better things. But 
the technology is going to get exponentially better. Of course it is. Uh, and this is eventually just going to lead to artists being fucking redundant. You're naive if you think otherwise. They will still do it, of course, but who in their right mind would pay for it? When because AI gets... Well. What? A lot of big companies. No one will. Even people. They. I mean, fuck. When, when it when it when it comes when AI gets to the point where it's so good, it's so good that you can just type in a few prompts, type in a few things, and just get literally exactly what you want, and it is better than a human can possibly imagine. No one's gonna buy it. Art as a job is is dead. Outside, you know, people being tradition traditionalists. You know, three three D art, sure, but most things are three D printed now as well. Um, but sure, I mean, yeah, but AI will will create three D art as well. Don't 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 you worry. It'll come for it'll come for me. They'll be able to generate if they're not already working on it. They'll be able to generate fully rigged three D models like that easily. Yeah, I can see that. They'll they'll create a system where it generates. They've done um, it with two um, D yeah, they'll they'll they'll. You can see a lot of that stuff. It's some of it's semi-related to the whole um, Elsa Gate thing on that side of things. I'm not going to get into that whole rabbit hole, but there are like a bunch of um, 2D rigs where the animation technically has already been done, but it's a whole bunch of like randomly generated assets. Yeah, I said that that may be more comparable and, to NFTs and, almost. Yeah, with the, the assets being drawn by artists. And, but everything else is AI. Mm -hmm. For Shad to call it elitism is uh, is crazy. I think you should be elitist in 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 some in these cases. Absolutely, be elitist. I mean, fuck. Why shouldn't you be? You worked hard to to develop something that is your own. You 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 fucking worked your bollocks off to become great at a skill. And even though people almost certainly told you that you couldn't do it or you're cringe or you're not good enough or give up, you persevered and you, de or you developed something that is your own and you're proud of it. And for that, you are called elitist by people who want to access that same thing by typing in some shit prompt and pressing a cunting button. Yes, it's elitist. Fuck you. Of course it is. What are you talking about? A lot of things are elitist. The military is elitist. Do you want to know why? Because there's, there are certain requirements to operate certain weaponry. Certain conditions. You know? Uh, Christ. Law is elitist. You gotta pass the bar. You gotta know what you're talking about. Oh well, you know, I wanna be a lawyer. I wanna be a solicitor. Who are you fucking elitists keeping me out? Why can't I be one? Oh what, you're a scientist? Well I've got a fucking app on my phone that can generate any answer to any scientific question. So I'm a scientist now. Fuck. And the most, the saddest thing about this, and we'll close the video out with this, the saddest, most tragic thing about this whole thing is that Shad is actually a pretty decent artist. Like, he actually, um... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. No, he spent like two hours working on Sorry, that. Shad. Um... He he actually shows a lot of promise in in art. The line works really nice. The shapes are cool. I'm in, I'm liking a lot of the designs. Some of the colorings a bit botched, but you can work on that. You can develop your skills. Look at this. This is good stuff. People would pay for this. You know, I like that goblin one. <laughs> but yeah. Of course people would pay for this. And I feel like Shad just couldn't 
get the hang of the shading, he couldn't get it to look exactly how he imagined. And rather than dedicating years of his life to... I mean, fucking hell. I, there was a time where I wasn't satisfied with my um, artwork. With my character models, with my animations. Do you know what I did? I, I, I looked myself in the mirror and I said, Okay, my friend, you're going to work hard on this. And you're going to make it better. You're going to fix it. You're going to develop yourself. You're going to invest in yourself. And I got better. Compare my old work to my new work. I got better. You know, and it didn't and it's not just about the artistic output. It it affected my brain, my chemistry, my ability to think, my ability to solve problems and negotiate th various things. It's what led to the creation of my book. It's that's the process that you're destroying. That's the process you're eroding. That's what you're taking from people by encouraging them to to cut corners and just let AI, let mummy and daddy fix it for you. Cushion all the edges. Don't let them make a mistake. Oh, you can't solve that puzzle. You're too dumb. Oh, you might hurt yourself. Be careful. Can't have a, can't have baby getting hurt. No, you just stay there. You can have anything you want. Yeah, well... You're going to grow up and develop into a fucking cunt if you do that. I'm sorry. This is just wasted potential. That's all it is. Some really nice fucking artwork. I mean, that one's a bit... This will be a perfect way to end the video, actually. Potential. Something, you know, at least interesting. Um, something with a bit of soul and there you go boom the future who would deny that this is isn't the greatest art of our generation now I would just like to say I don't usually make these types of videos I know this one's gone on a while um, I probably won't leave it public either I might I might not I don't want beef with Shad. I, I, I don't want, you know, a, you know, any situation here. I try I, I tried to be as respectful uh, as I could. Because um, I do enjoy his, his medieval content. I don't know the guy. He obviously cares a lot about his wife. <sighs> um, but I take this seriously. I, I do. I see it as a real fucking threat to... Our species. I think it's a, it's a slippery slope, and it's the beginning of human irrelevance. And mark me, that's where it will go. It will it will go there. Because it will get better and better and better and better and faster and faster and cheaper and cheaper. And it's already happening now. It's already happening fucking now. Big companies using AI to do their fucking shit, stopping fucking like hard working art. People have dedicated their lives to this from making money, robbing the world of the next great generation of inventors, creators, thinkers, because it's all done for them by a fucking robot. What a shit world. Why would you want that? Why are you happy about that? If this is the future you want, I think more than anything, you are to be pitied. Because it means that you just, you gave, you gave up on yourself. You gave up investing in yourself. And you want the rest of us to roll in the dirt with you. Well, the answer is 